for life. I don't hey. care what you say. You shouldn't be putting up Hello. fucking gunpowder in your anus. It's just not on. <laughs> that's why he's off. That's why he's really off, and that's why he's had to get a replacement. But oh my God, no. Oh. oh. Hi, everybody. Ignore the man behind the curtain and what he just said. Everything is fine. Hi! Yes, welcome to Sanity Check Gaming. We are here tonight to continue the story of our intrepid gumbags from the fu in the future who are up to no good. Uh, last night, they, they basically they walked around the ship a bit and then decided whether or not to leave when it was exploding. Luckily, most of them did, and one of them had help to do. However, during the fall to the planet, he was horribly disfigured, and now looks like this. Hey, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hello. Leon cannot join us tonight. He is a very, very busy boy. So instead, we have got one of our DMs. Richard. Hello. Hold on. It's me, Sean Connery. <laughs> Looks Enjoy exactly the, the same to me. <laughs> yep. Hideous Anything Scott. more handsome. Hi uh, everybody. Yeah, I am. I am. Hi, I'm. I'm Leon, and I'll I'll be playing uh, the Corpo uh, John Valen. That works, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just hear you talk in a very dour and monotone voice like this, and I talk through my kind of like my, my lips like this. If I do that, short lips. I look talks a lot like his lips. Yeah, he does. If you watch him, he, he talks very much like that, and he's very sounds very doer. I think so. I was like, he's about to cry. So anyway, yeah. yes, <laughs> Richard will be um, covering for Leon tonight. He may or may not be back tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, but we have the everyone Wait, else. Wait, I didn't know that. Was that is that part of the deal? So I'm only here for I'm only here for the day. Those exact words. <laughs> I was like, by the way, this might change. It depends. What we'll do is at the end of the night we'll take a vote uh, and we'll see who wants to keep Richard and who wants to keep Leon. Who, wants to we'll kill, I, who do you want yeah. to kill off first? <laughs> <laughs> so Richard but is coming for Leon get tonight. Of, uh, can't get rid of Richard and then uh, Logan not coming back. No, uh, maybe, Leon. Uh, yes, Leon. Leon. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No Leon's the other one. Logan. You have two young men in the team. Leon and Logan. I mean, oh. and they're both the same. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Leon. Leon. Yeah, young, young, young white honkies. Anyway, <laughs> Richard is here with us. He's down there. Uh, he's covering for Leon. We also have directly on this box down here, Rochelle. Who are you playing? What did you do yesterday? I play Rosita, aka Rose, and I am a pain in the ass basically, and <laughs> literally just don't really give a shit. And uh, I saved all of our asses because I'm a pilot. That's right. Yes, you do have some pilot skills, and you I did sure successfully do. piloted the the drop ship uh, towards Camp Gediman, and you did the uh, right three successes. Bang up job. She actually showed off at the end, just a little barrel roll. Yeah, landed on the ground. Just made it mad, that bit. So. It looked cool. Uh, to the, hold on, to this side, because it's reversed on my screen. <laughs> Mary, how are you playing? <clears throat> uh, I'm playing uh, Rat Mouser, who is a roughneck and may have some issues. Mm. <laughs> but she did collect some goo yesterday, yeah. so that was good. <laughs> some unspecific goo when nobody was looking. Uh, to this side, I have Logan, uh, Doctor, sorry, Professor Grimm, not a doctor, Professor, um, yeah. a scientist. Uh, he he's, has definitely read the manual since yesterday and has yeah, watched all the Aliens movies. He's definitely a professor in economics. <laughs> <laughs> of philosophy, it's like, ugh, oh shit. Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> Logan, who are you playing? Uh, we've just said. Yeah, but I want you to say, mate. Yeah, on. Uh, so I'm playing as Professor Grimm, who is a scientist who's just randomly, like, would you say, dragged on this mission. Nope, picked specifically, um... but okay. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? Dragged no, it's, no, it's literally the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> dragged. Specific and dragged. 
specifically picked for his very yeah. specific skill set that he is useful in. They didn't just go, hey, you in the white coat, come with us. But yes, that's fine, mate. He was specifically dragged. Yeah, How about that? <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we only jest. Logan has read his character. Yeah, I'm just giving him a hard time because he's the youngest person in the stream. <laughs> I envy his youth because I'm going to die first. That makes me sad. Well, that's um, not necessarily true. <laughs> no, if he doesn't read the fucking Keep going, keep going. <laughs> anyway, Chris, I think you are on that side. Yep, you are. I have to watch myself on the screen. Like, okay, what am I doing? Hey, Chris, what are, you, what are you doing? Are you playing? I am Joke, and I am a Marine who's uh, got some slight issues with our corporate. His bourbon. head is warm. <laughs> yeah, just, just the occasional nice little issue. And uh, I... I knocked his ass out and made sure that he actually is alive. You physically persuaded him. You didn't knock his ass out, you just gave him a, a bit of a donk to confuse him and then threw him into a... dragged him and then helped him into his seat. It said, you didn't really help him in a seat. You just kind of flung him in the seat direction. Yeah. Is he still help. alive? <laughs> yeah, Isn't he flying around? No, I was. Well, <laughs> the dropship, if you have seen the Alien movies, be very aware that the dropship does indeed drop for to like get through atmosphere. So he will have raised up into the air, and then yeah. when you take control, and it's the Earth's gravity, not the Earth, the planet's gravity is kind of kicked in, he will have went oh. bonk. So, yeah. the express elevator to hell, <laughs> going <laughs> down. Whereas the Marines were just like, yeah, whatever. Um, Vinny and Logan did both uh, roll successful in their stamina, so they're just just generally terrified, but they didn't spew or... I'm sitting screaming in my seat, I'll have you know. Shouting all sorts yeah. of sanities. <laughs> <laughs> why would you go to a place? This is the stupidest way to go to my planet. This is why we have space elevators. <laughs> um, <laughs> whereas, again, Rachel's just giving it... Yee uh, Basically. She's doing loops left. and everything. And, and I'm just laughing as... Uh, as Valen flies about the inside <laughs> of the ship. Just bonks about, yeah. So, that has all happened. As you use, use, so you don't crash towards the planet, as you are piloted gracefully towards the planet with her incredible piloting skills, uh, with Rosie's piloting skills, she, you see it before you, um, if you guys can look at Rule 20, there should be a small part of the map available to you. Can you see, like, a little... Ugh. Oh, no, that's right. not that right one, Yes. Um, I see nothing. You see nothing? There should be I a small area I see now. I see like a landing see that? thing, no. maybe. You may have to refresh no. it. Um, Mary, do you see it? I, I see like if a... If Mary sees it, it works. Yeah, so maybe I'll either scroll it. in or scroll out or something, because it's definitely there. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Mark, you see. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nope, I definitely can't see it if that's a e ping. Even when no, you're clicking on it, I can't see it. I, I can see, see it. I can see when you click on it, like the pulse bit, but that's it. I can't oh. see. <sighs> look at the stream. It's on the stream. You can see yeah, it. it is on the stream. It <laughs> well, is on the stream, though. Right. So. There you go, guys. There, it's on the stream. That's what you can see. Yes. Uh, Rochelle. Oh, sorry, Rose. You pilot the ship down, tumble it a couple times with your badass, and bang it straight into the ground because you know the uh, the corporate agent is not strapped in and you think it'd be very funny to bonk him to the old ceiling uh, floor ceiling floor to him huh. so um yeah, the old one the scientist yeah the old, the old one two one two <laughs> um not luke leon um valen uh, the, some warning signs appear on the screen check integrity of suit that kind of thing but it does manage to kind of cushion the blow somewhat. So I'm going to say you do take a single point of damage to your body because you have been pinballed about the machine. But okay. as you lie on the floor, you do start to kind of like, you know, your head's swimming a bit. But you're okay. The rest of you. Um, actually, not the rest. Rose, what do you announce to the cabin? Um, ladies and gentlemen. Please sit down and do not fucking move, otherwise you may get hurt. Have fun, and let's go! <laughs> Thank you for playing Rose Airlines. Um, so yeah, with that, she hits the... It's always a big red button. Big red button that says, back of the door Boop. open. <laughs> and indeed, the back of the ship opens. A few moments pass, you just kind of unstrap yourself and empty the various fluids out of your suits into um, the hand. I will be... Pencil. 
I will be the first out as I run out and well, oh, and I just oh, just all over the place. So yeah, that you rip off the this first suit time he's helmet. thrown up. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is just by this point, it's just a wretching. It's just spit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been six, so many dead bodies in space drops. Someone get the man a bucket. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen any dead bodies. However, <laughs> I've just been battered about in a fucking in the drops. Yeah. Uh, I'm going, oh. As you sort of, you know, just getting things together and that, and you are being noisily wretched, said, you do indeed see something. There is a spaceport. It looks like the spaceport for any small camp. There's some buildings, probably used to store fuel and the kind of things that you'd expect to be in there. Across it, you actually do see a short-range craft, the type of craft that could get you into orbit if you need to do so. Um, it's got company markings on it. Might be useful to remember that's there, guys. Um, but you also see something odd, something you just haven't ever seen before, but you've heard about. A towering black figure with an elongated head, long spindly arms, bowed legs, and what appears to be a large black tail similar to a scorpion. It drops to all fours and points the front of its head towards you, which is curious because it doesn't appear to have any eyes. Its mouth opens, and another mouth kind of comes out slowly and then goes back in with a kind of loud clicking noise. It moves kind of side course, to side. Is that? Well, you're about to find out, mate. It moves kind of side to right. side. It's about 100 feet away. Like it's trying to decide what to do. Then it decides what to do. It runs towards you. Can you motherfuckers owe me some initiative? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you can in a moment. However, it is yeah, charging okay. towards you very quickly and you are in the pilot seat. So you need to get out and get oh, set yeah, I up. Oh, yeah, I haven't got out, have I? Nope. The only person that got out was Richard, who then took off the helmet that he's wearing and yeah. retched onto the ground. Um, what card or dice for pressing? So don't worry about the map too much, guys. It's more for, like, reference. I'm not going to bother putting, like... Is it a card or dice thing. worth to roll? Um, it will be a dice. It should say on your sheet somewhere. Uh, initiative. Um, just tell me what the initiative is and I'll write it down. It's not a massive deal. Um, I got 11. 11. Mine's I got 7. Does okay, it just say initiative somewhere? Um... It should say Do you know where on... it says like D1, D2 and that? Um, in the middle it has panic and then in... Yeah, it's got card and it's got dice and, and I don't know which dice. one to press. I click dice. dice. I click dice, okay, very dice. So. I'm pressing dice. Uh, yep, you got a four. Six. Yeah, good. Uh, it's token, is token initiative. Don't worry about that, mate. Just whatever it says initiative, just click it, see what happens. Initiative, uh, initiative dice, there we go. There you go. You got a seven, okay. So seven for you. Uh for uh Valen. I feel like I should take it off secret. And no no, don't Valen's take it off secret. I need it to be on secret. I want to okay, I, have, I haven't done anything. Okay. Because right? I don't want any of you to know what your rules are, that's why I've done that. Um <sighs> Lee. Yes, mate. Valens, no, I don't secret. That's, uh, all right, that's okay. Um, Valen, I should I can put it back in secret for you, mate. It's not a problem. Uh, that's why I was just thinking maybe I should. I'll give it. No, no, it's cool. No, no, I Show want it on why. secret. That's it. Okay. All your rules will go straight to me now. It's not a problem. There's a specific reason I'm doing that. Ah, so, yeah, I can. Pension. I think you told me that yesterday. I did. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to make a big deal of it. Uh, and... I forget things within five minutes. I'm sorry. Yes. Like, it's a very stressful time for us all, Rachel, because I'm running a system I've never used before. And you know, you're doing uh, great. Well, I mean, I'm also very handsome and tall, so you know, it helps. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're handsome. <laughs> well, <laughs> in some cultures, I'm very though. For a given value. Back to 1901, I'm considered a man of average height. Um, <laughs> yes, like, just below that. Before we had a before we had a decent <laughs> amount of meat in our diet. Basically, yeah, before we had like food. Um, <laughs> God damn it, that's being weird. Don't do that. Don't do that. Where the hell is my Soldiers, you know, there we go. Do 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 do. Um, do, 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 do. Um, General banter to distract everyone from the work that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, uh so how uh, my the puppy weather. ate a mouse yesterday. No. <laughs> I don't, what did you say, uh, Rachel? My puppy ate a mouse, so her nickname now is Mouse Catcher. Uh, cause nice. she caught a mouse and ate it. Well, she didn't like eat. She killed it. She didn't actually eat it because my dad got it. Off. Yeah. 
Oh, off we go. Oh. I have a killer on the loose. It's a killer Usually on the loose. Usually it's cats that end up in mess. Yeah, you should call your dog cat now. Yeah, cat dog. Yeah, cat, cat dog. dog. Mike cat. <laughs> Ducky cat. No, cat dog sounds better. Long in the world with a little cat dog. Anyway, by the way, there's an alien charge on the war juice are sitting doing this, so I'm oh, yeah. getting, it's, it's getting two attacks now. Uh, okay, so we, yeah. We were literally waiting for you to finish writing up the well, initiative you, list. You, you were doing yeah, as soon as I can, I'll thing. get out of my chair, but... Cool. Well, weirdly, it tied initiative. It tied initiative with Logan, top of the round. Uh, so, of which course. Was, that was nice. <laughs> so what I'm going to say is it is going to charge towards you and it's going to do an... Oh, it literally runs by Balin and runs to the ones inside the ship and does an all-out attack. Okay. I'm going to say that it can get to Logan, it can get to um, Jock, and it can get to uh, Rat. Uh, and it's all-out okay. attack is pretty fucking dangerous. Yeah, right. it is. Um, okay. Now, as it runs up towards you, it, no, it, I'm going to say it shoulder badges Val into the ground and you go kind of spinning off to the side and it comes up to you and it just slashes its claws, the tail whips out of one of you. It is terrifying. Um, can everyone take a stress dice, please? Because what the fuck is this thing? Right. Oh, yeah. Um, you just said it's, it's an alien. Well, yeah, it's an alien, but as you, your character's like, what the fuck is that thing? This is a big oh, yeah. scorpion cool. monster. Uh, yeah, I will is this that. in the second one? Uh, I haven't seen the second one. That one, it's just a generic alien I ripped off the internet. Uh, I don't know what, it's just oh, that, okay. when I typed in soldiers, you know, that's what came up. Um, <laughs> I, I liked the artwork for that one. There's lots of scary ones, but I thought that Sorry. shows all of its body. Um, it only rolled one success, guys, so that's good news. I'm going to say that um, the armor that you have takes a lot of this impact. So everyone who gets hit takes one damage. But if it almost to sacrifice their fast movement, you can roll me a a close combat roll to see if you can kind of like stop it hitting you. Uh, right. I've, where was that thing? I had something to do with sacrificing movement. I read that somewhere. That basically just means you can't move in your turn, correct? Hard, basically, hard yes. You you're yeah. sl you have a slow attack and a fast attack. Slow attack is basically shoot, uh, which would be your main action if this was D&D, &D, and the bonus action would be um, what your fast attack. Your fast attack is like reload the weapon. That's not something you have to worry about with your smart weaponry until I make make that a thing. Uh, but it'd be like uh, you can move, you can try and get under cover, you can do all kinds of like things. I'll basically, if you tell me what you want to do, I'll tell you whether it's a fast or slow action. As, as you know, combat is not my favourite, and we'll just kind of play it by ear. All right, I've got, we know, to, I've got a hard hitter that says you get a plus two modification to close combat if you sacrifice your fast action. That's what I was thinking of. Absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, you give me a close... Anyone who's trying to defend against this can sacrifice their fast action unless they've got feet that says <laughs> they get it for free. So uh, that I'm basically talking to Logan, um, Chris and Murray, if you want to try and stop this thing slashing into you and smashing you into walls and yeah. trying to puncture your very valuable suits. I, yeah. I would like to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, Jock, yep, you do get a panic, but you get success. So again, it is like, it is just through sheer panic, you just manage to pull out, uh, what's the um, weapon that you have, your uh, melee weapon? I will I, also add, you, you can only do this if you have a melee weapon. was my closest to a melee weapon. Oh, I am sorry, I forgot a rule. By the way, you need to have a melee weapon to do this. Do you okay. have any melee weapon at all? You didn't give me one. In that case, I will say in this one instance, you can use your rifle to try and bat it out of the way, because you're an experienced marine. It's got a heavy uh, stop. That in makes it. sense. Okay. Uh, Logan, what you got? Oh, Professor Grimm did not, and he panicked on his roll. I'll come what? back to you. What am I rolling? Oh, shit. Close combat roll, Mary. Uh, Close combat, okay. Did that do it? Yeah. So, Jock, you realise in that second you don't have your trusty machete or knife or something heavy. Oh, fuck. But I've got this. Fuck! And, and the claw comes at you. You manage to get it up and you push it aside. It grabs the weapon, because it's a panel, and rips out your hand and throws it across the, uh, the small space that you're in. You could probably get back to that. So you, you, you are currently disarmed. <laughs> You've got other shit in your hand, in your, yeah. on you, though. Logan. You pull out your stun baton, you feel quite tough for this. 
you could do that and it goes flying out your hand. You're not used to holding it in the Evo suit and it just goes. You're like, oh fuck. And the tail smashes you in the side, knocking you to the ground. You take a point of damage. Mary, you're fucking yeah. tough. Right. <laughs> Look at these pussies. I've got that maintenance so, jack. I'm like, oh, fuck. You've got that oversized wrench. So you're not even sure what this it's is for. It's got a hammer at the end as well for some reason. Just, Stay away. It's just got the equalizer written down the sides of it. You know, it's like, <laughs> I have never used this tool for anything apart from hurting people. And or as it comes from things. my... Or hand, yeah. And yeah. you just knock its arm away and you kind of like, you swing it into its leg. It doesn't react to your hit, but it's enough to kind of like, get out of your way. And then... It moves back, and it jumps on top of the roof of the uh, uh, of the dropship. Logan, you're on your ass and unarmed. What are you doing? Uh, see, can you sink the wind? It says um, when you're. Oh no, is that when you're brutal? So yeah, mate. Mean, if you were like... unconscious, you can use second wind. I, I gave you that because your character was kind of weak. So basically, if you were on the ground, your health was at zero. You could get back up and be like, I can you know, I didn't hear no bell. That kind of stuff. Um, so oh, you don't okay. need to use that, mate. You, yeah. you know, but you're on your ass. You could stand up as a fast action, and you could find your weapon if you wanted, or you can run out and try and find yeah. it yourself, barehanded. Up to you. Did I get it for I'll the opposite and reason? Try and grab my weapon. Yeah, yeah, you easily pick up your weapon, uh, you get to your feet, um, I'll say that's your fast action, um, it's definitely on the roof, you can hear it banging about up there, it's on the roof of the dropship, what do you want to do? Could ready your action, you could just pull out your weapon like, I'm not fucking going out, I'm going to let the marines go first. What's up, what's up? Yeah, what's up? So I, I'd look at it. Okay, that's fine, absolutely fine. Uh, the next person to go was the 7, which uh, there's 2 on 7, there is Mr. Valen. And a jock. Um, what I'll say is that who's got the highest agility of the two of you? I've got a four. I've got a four. Right, I'm just going to say the Marine Axe first because he's a Marine. Right. Fair enough. Right. And also, you've been sick with your helmet off, so maybe you're like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> um, so, yeah, jock, you can, it's got onto the top of the dropship. What do you want to do? So, I've got my incinerator unit. Mm -hmm. uh, how. Would I be able to move and shoot or just move? You can absolutely move and shoot. You can absolutely get out of the side of there and look to see if you can find it and you can blast it up and try and hit it. I'm going to say it's got some kind of partial cover, so... But try to remember that. how the incinerator unit works, though, would it? Let's cinematic this shit, man. If you do something cool, I'll tell you it does stuff, right? Don't worry about the book, okay. right? Okay, so nice. what I want to do... What I want to do is I want to get out and just, like, sort of, like, immediately turn around the unit and aim it at the alien and fire. Yeah, like a fucking badass meme would do. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? You? Just like, uh, the thing I want you to do on your shirt. Ah! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you run out, you just try and pick your target, and you see it kind of like coming, like like the, the big head coming down, like it's getting ready to do something. Will I roll yeah. for attack then? Uh, you can absolutely roll for attack, mate. Of course you can. Okay. Oh, that's okay. a. You got a success, you also got a panic. Um. <laughs> What I'm saying is this is not going to negate some of the damage. It's not like, oh, oh my god. You're a marine. You're fucking tough, right? But again, you have never seen... This is like... This isn't like fighting a wild animal. This is fighting a terrifying monster. So you pull it up and you blast. And it moves much quicker than you expect it to move. And you catch it and it does let out a scream. And this scream is terrifying. And in that second you're like... What if this thing's got friends? And you kind of look around and like... It's almost like a bug. Bugs. Bugs. There's like lots of bugs. Oh my god. So it's going to take some damage. It has taken some damage. When I say you caught the side of it, and the, the flames did lick up, and you see parts of its kind of exoskeleton melt. But you need to get out. You need to get under cover. I'm going to see you, you can get back under. I'm going to see you. You definitely run up. You run back into the ship. That thing's scary. And it sort of sort of makes sense anyway, considering the way I play them. Yeah. Like hair trigger. Absolutely. Um, right, Mister Valen. You're currently no helmet on. Yep. Try to wretch up sick, and something big just kind of battled past you, and then you're hearing weapons fire and monsters screeching. You turn and like you see Jock run out and just blast the dropship with a flamethrower. Your eyes look up, you're like, oh fuck. Yep. Uh, you have the... no you have no helmet on. Just to clarify. Grab the helmet. Okay. Run into the dropship. Uh huh. Uh, I'll start. I'll put the helmet down. 
Jock, mm -hmm. get in! And <clears throat> close the door. Ooh, exciting. Uh, I'm going to say the... It's yeah. not like a bonk, it is like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are not designed to like close quickly, they're designed to open quickly so you can run out and shoot things. Not to run away and hide in them. This isn't um, Star Wars doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't just kind of like... It is a very... It's not a very slow process, but it's not a quick process. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I can actually. I will do something. Hopefully, I will have something that will help with that. I don't usually play corpos. Uh, bam, 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 bam. I don't like we're just given the the cyberpunk name of corpos. We're not just going. They're not company. Corpos sounds much worse, much shittier and slimier. I'm gonna text my missus and see if she'll make me tea. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, you just a, <laughs> just see like a hand come down right there. Just fly <laughs> across the room, hit me in the face like hello. Right. See, see, if I was, see if I was to use uh I wanna use manipulation to try and get our good uh idiot in into the I'm gonna say the jock was he right, did run back in, so he came back, back in because of his panic roll. So I mean yeah, I can say like at the same time, you're like, get back in here and he's like Fuck okay. Yeah. <laughs> Normally okay. I wouldn't listen to you, but fuck this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, now uh, that moves us on to uh, rat. So, you know what's happened? You you fucking just went toe to toe with this thing. Which, the door's open. The door's closing now, though. R rat just lands. <laughs> but head both way goes out with an wrench and smash. <laughs> I'm scrambling in that door if I can possibly do it. <laughs> Absolutely. To be at this point, you this is all happening very, very quickly. So they've ran out, ran back in. You're like, I have got a big wrench. I am not going out there. You do have your incinerator unit as well, which you can pull yeah. if you want to go and try and fight it, or you can just like pull it and be like, mm, I'll just wait here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a roughneck. I'm not fighting stuff. He's fighting <laughs> stuff. <That's> <laughs> you ready your weapon? If it comes at you, you'll give it a shooty shoot. But apart from that, thing, no problem at all. Natalie. Nally, Rosetta, you're Nally. Uh, Rose, you are in the pilot seat. You have hit the button. It's your um, your roller coaster kind of thing is popped up. You can get out now if you want. They're yeah, closing the door. We're stopping you fighting something. I know. Damn it! I'm just gonna run and get out. So yeah, as the doors close, don't block me in this piece of shit. Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, you run out. The doors kind of like up halfway. You run out. You like jump. Combat roll across there, spin round with a grenade launcher. The creature is um, standing on top of the dropship. I'm going to shoot it. You love it! Okay. <laughs> These things have a thing called mobility. Now, that means that they can move. Um, because, you know, otherwise grenade launchers would spell the end for most of these things. So it's yeah. going to try and move. Um... I knew Rich was going to do this and I fucking love it. This is what... <laughs> this is the reason this I gave it... She has carelessly... She has carelessly shot a grenade on top of the ship where you all are. <laughs> uh, so, first thing, so, so first thing, Rachel, first of all, shoot the grenade for me, like, just to see how, make sure it hits. Do I just click attack, yeah? You just click, see where it says, yeah, where the, uh, the grenade is in your weapons, just hit the bit that says attack and it should shoot. Yeah, of course. She's got so many dice in that, but it's so, so many dice in that. that are too One many. success. <laughs> And it is just, it is on course for this thing, uh, and it is going to get to roll a little mobility. Did I uh, only get one success out of all those dice, Lee? Out of all the dice, you only got one success. Bloody and hell! It, and it got two successes. Oh, shit. So it's a, as it's one. coming, the tail whips out <laughs> and actually hits the grenade and sends it kind of like careening off across the place, and it blows up. Actually, to make this more fun, it hits the grid down towards the side of the ship, and, and the ship actually kind of starts to lurch onto its side. It does oh take boy. some shrapnel, though, because, you know, this is cinematic, and let's make it fun. So, <laughs> some shrapnel rips up through the creature. Some green shit starts coming out of it, hits the top of the ship. Now, if anyone's seen Alien 1, do you remember how <laughs> volatile that acid blood is? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The creature, as it's, it jumps, screeching jumps off the sides of the dropship, but not before it sprays a bunch of acid. What you guys see inside is like this really tough metal the dropship's made of, just melting like paper on a flame with, with a flamethrower. It's like, holy shit, little drips of this start coming through. Get out, guys. <laughs> the creature 
lands at the side. Doesn't land, sorry, lands at the side of it and turns and looks at the person that's just attacked it. And it's its turn. <laughs> I'm going out there. This... <laughs> Stay out here. Good luck. I hope you're fine. <clears throat> However, top of the round. Rich, you hear a very familiar noise. <laughs> Somebody behind you firing. And you look back and you see Back up. You see what you assume are people from the camp dressed in very specific colours. It'll be green, blue, yellow, uh, red, and one will have a green uh, a white top on with a big plus sign on it. There's you'll find a white. Medics by any chance? <laughs> Maybe. I wonder who I'm describing. Um and the creature Rebecca. screams and then runs. Combat is now over. Um, guys, you can uh, get out of the vehicle. I First knife. <laughs> uh, I will say this, but this is all really quickly. Um, the uh, vehicle does crash over to its side. The door still. I mean, you can get through the roof now. It's melted. Um, no, I'm not getting it for that roof. I'm not going it for the roof either. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I'll I'll just like fire on the door. It's gone. We're okay. I think we have that. Please tell me none of them have, as real sly Marbo says, anything like cool haircut and sunglasses. Oh, are you asking if this? Yeah, are you asking if this one with like a kind of like cool blonde haircut with uh, dark glasses on, even at night time? Uh, no, there's not. Thank um, God. Ill you... King, baby. <laughs> Neither. Yeah, none of them got chainsaw hands either. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, this guy. You see a man. Um, holding, well, it's a shotgun in the picture, but he has a green like, we just wasted our last fucking grenades! Get the fuck over here! Thank you very much, and then I'll uh, go over to them. Yeah. I guess I'm going. <laughs> yeah, he's getting at the ship, he's going to the, yeah, the yeah. five people, yeah, okay, so he's so. run over to yeah. the, like, the, the man in the red vest, like, where's the ship? Where's the backup? What, what, what are we gonna get the fuck out of here? Unfortunately, we are not the just, backup. I'm horsing it past him to the <laughs> safest place. I'm not, I'm not even stopping to talk to him. Uh, that's the boss, apparently. And he also does nothing. I'm just rummaging what? in my pockets right now. He likes to get in the way. I walk <sighs> out and first thing I say was, what the fuck was that? What was that? It's a fucking monster. I fucking know. Brad, Jill, Rebecca, Chris, okay, let's fall back! And they start, yeah, that's right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they start horsing it back to, now, just to give you a brief description of the camp, the camp itself is a large, um, is about an eight-foot stone wall with large pylons in it that shoot a kind of energy <clears throat> field over it. Thank you very much, Logan, don't put it on top of my phone. Um, i tell you my You're mother. Welcome, <laughs> Yeah, it'd be great if it was Logan. He just came through and put that down. and went back to another room. Uh, my son is also called Logan, and this is my other son. This is my other son called Logan. I'm sure forget which way he is in the stream. Um, the camp itself is a large um, stone wall with like various kind of corporate writing and uh, emblems on it, pylons, and it shoots an energy field across the top of it. Now, if any of you read the Alien uh, Brood War, you will recognise this as. Um, a viable technology that keeps basically the environment inside safe, especially if it's not a particularly breathable atmosphere outside. If you've not, it's some cool sci-fi bullshit. Um, so yeah, the door, the metal doors open. The space itself is wide enough for a very large vehicle to go through. Remember that. And um, <laughs> reasons I'm saying things. And they just they start hauling ass back towards it. As they get into the camp, like you need to be quiet. It's not the one. What? <coughs> For the love she of God, has shut up, up, John. And like, says, says, you need to be quiet. No, 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 no. Someone needs to tell us what's going on here right. and why are you misusing corporate property? Okay. Um, he smacks you in the face uh, with the butt of his weapon. I laugh. Okay. And it goes. <laughs> I'll tell you what I know once we're safe. 
otherwise, I'll leave you here and they can fucking eat you like they did with everyone else. Why don't you leave him here anyway? We like to go with you, please. Thank you. Because he looks like he's the only one that back up will listen to. Not a use look worth saving. They've not came for us. He is too pretty to be a grunt. And they take you back into the camp. And the, 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 there's more things now. Ooh. I take damage from the... Uh, I'm going to say no. Uh, this right. is this is a man who knows how to knock a head without cracking a head. Um, okay. So yeah, it's like, wow, you've rung my bell. Um, I've yeah. got a massive grin for the entire walk back to the camp. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, now... <laughs> Uh, this takes you to the next area. So after a few minutes, uh, you get into a building. Prefab, because I've seen a hundred of these, a hundred different places. The um, the whole camp is prefabs or like easy to build things. You see rooms, some say like bar, some say rest areas, some say barracks, factory. There's a large building at the end of the street, much bigger than the rest. This one's not prefab. This looks specially made and it simply says gateway on it. Um, you get about halfway down the street and you see them all just like shh. goes over a keypad, punches in and the road door goes up get in and just go in this is the medical okay. area that you've now arrived at please fucking tell me there's someone else coming are you an advanced team? unfortunately it's just us oh you could you could talk normally now. We're inside the the camp. Just okay. Don't shout. <laughs> I, so, I didn't. Want I should to, mention um... that. Now. Smart. Don't ask questions. It's even hard for me to stop whispering now because I said whisper and now my brain's like <laughs> monsters. My kid. Whisper. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you walk into room standard med. There's a waiting area which seems to be they kind of set up a small camp. They've dragged in some like, like there's some sleeping bags in there. There's a couple of waiting couches. There's a medical bay behind. There's a reception office and there's like a bit that just says bathrooms or rest yeah. areas because they're Americans in space, they have rest areas okay. um, bathrooms uh, yeah shit boxes, whatever you'll call them, yeah places you go to evacuate I don't know, I could just say toilet yeah, toilet's a rude word right, okay, so tell you, the, you it's only you he it, says to Rachel it's, it's just us unfortunately for you I'm going to guess um, this idiot's in charge. He says, looking um, at Mr. Vaughan. Again, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. The, the others don't really listen to him much. <laughs> yeah, I've worked We're here. before. Yeah, Jock, don't know your name. Yeah, you. We, we, we do what it takes to keep him alive, even if it means sometimes not listening to him. You can he smiles, but now you get a good look at this man, he looks exhausted. He is grey, under the eyes are red. And you can tell that this has been like a, a man that enjoys his food, but you can even see the kind of like bits like gauntness around him. Uh, like somebody that's been under immense pressure and maybe not sleeps uh, very often. Any of you that, um, any of you's got any medical background at all, you can roll me some medical rules. Okay, see, see, while this is happening, I'm sort of like trying to be a little bit away from the rest and I've mm -hmm. got like my little pouch out and I've taken a tiny tiny drop of something powder and just licked it nice okay, um... what are you taking I don't know what that means <laughs> right yeah you don't that's fine <laughs> no. none of you know what it means apart from Logan who I'm sure is paying lots of attention <laughs> um okay Valen you are freaked out with your two panic rolls there like two successes <laughs> Um, yeah. So, um, okay, fake Leon. Um, this guy, you've you've read the personnel report. You know who this guy is. Mm -hmm. This is a shift leader. They picked this guy because he's racked up lots and lots of gambling debts and has two ex-wives and a bunch of kids. Uh, so they knew they could control him. Also, so they he... knew that... Mm -hmm. So he, he was the one that hit me, right? He was the one that hit you. Yeah. Just before... Yeah. Uh, so yeah. You, you know who this guy is. They picked him for the reason that they could control him. They also know that they picked him because he knows when to keep his mouth shut. Mm -hmm. And he gets the job done. He works very, very hard. Just pretty unlucky on whatever the hell they bet, they bet on in space. Um, 
and he's like, so you can't be the only team. You, you, corporate, you must have. Oh, sorry, what he's noticed about him uh, for the medical rules. Um, yeah. This is a man that's been taken, never sleep for days. This yeah. is, people don't look like this unless they've been injected. This man has not slept for, would to look I, like this. Would I know, would I know if he is one for dabbling in such things um, from the name of your records? You know that roughnecks are not shy about taking any stems that are going by them. Uh, you know, like mm. if something, something new turns up, usually you can find a, a, a roughneck that'll be like, I don't care, <laughs> without even asking yeah. what it is. Bright, gro bright green? That'll be wonderful. Um, they are no way to, to dabble. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're yeah we are the only team. Oh my god! And we're not here for you. Yeah. Fucking corporate piece of shit. You just be careful what you're saying there. I wouldn't we want to take that bet now, would you? When you say about taking the bet, it's like yeah. Have Red you broken your nose again? No, <laughs> he broke my nose. Anyway, no. who's in charge? You are, boss. You got a plan? Of your group. Well, it looks at the rest of them. Um, Jill and Rebecca kind of sit on the couch and they kind of like whispering each other and they keep looking over and pointing them. And you can kind of hear a little bit snips like they can't be the only ones. They're just testing us. This is, this is a mistake. No, no. They just, they, they wouldn't only just send one team. That's ridiculous. Um, Brad pulls off his helmet and immediately goes to the bathroom mm. uh, and Chris just kind of like sits over in the sleeping area and he's just staring at you he pulls out his weapon uh, it looks like some kind of um, rifle, not like a mm. pulse rifle any moment with any military training would look at this as one of the um, the other companies, one of the other big coalitions they're not hard to get a hold of in the black market, a lot mm. cheaper than pulse rifles, it looks like I forget the name of them because I can't remember the book, but basically one of the other companies. Yeah. So yeah. He just starts cleaning it, pulls it, checks the chamber, checks the weapon, uh, the uh, the bullets, and clicks it back in and is just staring at you with just undisguised anger. Yeah. Um, he's like, I'll do the talking for the group. Do you, explain, uh, do you want to explain what you've done to our corporation's holdings? <laughs> what I've done? Yeah, that's right. I make the decisions in here. Yeah, look, look at me. Yeah, I'm, I'm top of the tree. Yeah, they run it all by Barry. They come down and say, Barry, when you're done scrubbing the toilets and making sure the power's running and fucking unclogging the pipes. Yeah, yeah, make a decision what he's doing the big fucking building. <clears throat> what I've done. Yeah. What I've done is been lucky enough to survive when there's crazy fucking monsters that people like you decide not to loop us in about. Oh, yeah. we'll tell the roughnecks. Yeah, yeah, and well, you are now lucky enough to be in charge much, of this sure. little group, which means you are fully responsible for anything that's happened down here, and I will fucking make sure of it. <laughs> oh, bold of you to assume you're going to survive. Uh, we just pulled your ass out of the fire. Maybe next time we won't. Yeah, I was now, fine. Yeah, now you blocked the only <laughs> you ship that can get us off this place. Thank you very much. Well, well done. A dropship oh. isn't going to get you back into orbit, you fucking idiot. They're called yeah. dropships. Not getting up ships. They no, get but taken there is a ship. I have some another ship. Oh, good job you're here. Oh, guys, guys, we're safe. The other ships there. Oh, why didn't we think of that? Rose, do you is not remember broken? seeing it going directly into the planet? <laughs> no, no. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, there was another ship capable of flight in there. It was a corporate ship. Um, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's broken, isn't it? It's not broken. No, it's unaccessible. Because they don't give people like me the keys to ships like that. Oh, well, no, they don't. you can access it, boss. <laughs> can I? I well, would assume so. I'm looking at this guy, and although he's a corporate piece of shit, I'm going to guess he's level seven. Would that be right? He's level 20. <laughs> I'm just God kidding. himself isn't level 20. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't, don't worry. <sighs> no. It's got to be someone in charge. He's a middleman. They don't send bosses. 
on missions like this. They send the guys try to climb the ladder on bossy and run, runs like this. How close am I, boss? Well, that is above your pay grade. Yeah. I've can worked someone, with the asshole before can someone take, so, can someone take this guy's weapon off him, please? You can try. <laughs> Uh, I <laughs> brought like not considering Looks like uh, I'm task. gonna have to step in and do what we're here to do, which is keep you alive. That is an order, soldier. Is it? Okie dokie. And I'll get the weapon off him. Okay, strength check. Oppose strength check with Barry. Brilliant. Come on. Love oh, it. And another thing, Jock. Yes, you're here to keep us alive, me more importantly if you want to go down that route, which means you do as you're ordered, right? Look, at this point, Valen, at this point, I'm pretty much figuring that retirement with an island isn't going to happen. So if you don't shut the fuck up, I will take my incinerator and turn you to dust. Great. I'll do have this then... interaction, um, just so you know. Uh, Rose literally puts her in a, a, faster than you could believe, grabs the weapon out of Barry's hand, and you now have a shotgun. I'm going to pass it to you, Balin. You actually no, no. rip out of well, his... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll not take the weapon, I'll just keep a hold of it. Okay. Uh, guys, either of you want a gun? No, no. A point so here's, so here's the thing. You're absolutely right. I'm probably <laughs> the only person who's come close to getting onto that ship if that is indeed a corporate ship. There will be some other safety mechanisms and devices. There'll also be some fail safes that you could probably pass if need be. So what I reckon is you need me anyway, because I can access said fail safes if need be. And as for you, Jock, yes, you're here to protect me. Why did you let this man hit me again? This will be remembered. I'm here to protect you from death and he pretty much saved your ass before you need to actually start being thankful for the people that continually save your ass who dragged you off that ship and you need to start you doing to... your you just need to start doing your job that's what you're here for that's what you're paid to do comprende I amigo Alan, i have a limit yes oh boy. you have a limit and that's why you're stuck out here with us don't and forget you, that. You, are your you know exactly what I've done. And you know what I'm capable of doing. Do you yes. want that to be you? Go ahead. Looks like I hold all the cards. Oh At the minute. See, while all that's going on, can I sort of sidle up to the professor and go, Hey, Prof, what do you make of this? And I, like, take, take that little jar out of my coat. And just uh, sort of pass Logan. it to him. You swirl it about, um, and yeah, you recognise it immediately. You know exactly what your friend has found. Oh, that? And she's found enough to make two, three, four thousand. Give me a minute, I'll be back. No problem, <laughs> that gives us time to do this. Yep. Yep. So they're arguing back and forward behind you. Yeah. And we're just so sort of like looking over. Know the I know. In your agenda, mate, your friend, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> It's the one oh, that yeah, sells it for Jesus um, Christ. <laughs> I, I was saying that, I was saying that, like, do you want to make a couple of thousand of these? A couple of thousand? Not, not right now, mate. Not, Maybe just uh, like, oh, this is okay, worse. Not, <laughs> not like, da, 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 pull up, chemistry set. <laughs> right, just to clarify, I'm just going to throw this one out here because Logan's looking a bit lost. Logan can make drugs out of the stuff that they have found. They have been working together the whole time. <laughs> so that, and this is like, she is like, like, holy shit, I found all the ingredients for meth. We <laughs> yeah. should make some space meth. I've just been like, okay. I've got this. Yeah. <laughs> Except super duper, like that was all like, ha ha ha, not like <laughs> space meth. So Logan, you were excited by this prospect. Space meth. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, this is a fucking score. This is... I acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. You acknowledge that. So, RP. Usual cut. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mary, push for more because you found it. I think I oh. should uh, have 75. 75? 
There we go. I'm saying I'm about 65. 65 me? Okay. Look, yeah, look right. at you I'm make good. it. She's just yeah. a dealer. You make this shit. 65. Yeah. yeah. hell. I, I, I'm nice. If it was a 50, right, how, right, hold on. What is your original percentage? 100. Hey, you tell oh, me. It's your character. Straight split. Okay, well, the original, <laughs> the original cut was 50 50. 50. So, you're the king. That's the right. The original yeah, cut was 80 20 together. in your favour. 80 20 in your favour. She's asking 80, for 75. 80. Yeah, 70 25. That is mental. Yeah, that's you make the shit. Yeah, Can we, we change Are Professor Grimm's? Logan, you're killing this, mate. This is fabulous. <laughs> Can we change Professor Grimm's name to Heisenberg? Uh, uh, to be fair, I thought he was going to kill himself, Heisenberg, and he didn't. I was really disappointed, but then I found he hadn't read his backstory, so I worked out why. Um, I, I was going to, to call myself Dutch to head off, but I was like... That'd have been cool, too. It doesn't make sense for the, the, yeah. the professor, though. He'd have, been, he'd have been Dylan, surely. Anyway, continue. Professor, professor Dutch. Hey, I found so, it! Look, if you're not I, happy with it, this percentage, tell her that you're not happy. Tell her what this percentage is going to be. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not happy. I'll give you an extra 10%, that's, that's all I can do. Yeah. Mary, you're now getting 30% as opposed to uh, as opposed to the 20% you were getting. I sort of look that's at him and then like look at the others, see if they've noticed this raising their voices. Like, I'll go. They're, they are like literally nose to nose at this point. No, yeah, fuck yeah, you! No, fuck you! And uh, so, you know, Rachel's like just inspected this new gun. She says, "This is quite cool." Oh, and like, Barry's kind of <laughs> backing away because he is like, "People don't do that to me. I'm a big, strong guy." Like thirty-five, and we're good. Eight to three. That's a hard percentage to work out. <laughs> thirty-three percent. <laughs> One third. <laughs> One third. <laughs> 33.3 is like, that's so difficult to work out. That's not even a whole number. Look, anymore. I've just okay, taken okay, some okay. of that stuff. I'm like very confident. <laughs> also, not very good in numbers right now. I am going to put Logan on the spot so much more often because it's so funny. <laughs> What have I missed? Logan's just learned that he's a drug dealer, which is in his backstory, <laughs> and he works with Mary, which is also in his backstory. Right. <laughs> Three. Next time episode, we play a game, Logan, two, I'm going to specifically make you read your book story. <laughs> 33, I got to fist bump in 33. 33.3, yeah, 33. <laughs> boom, there we go. Right, okay, so yeah. Aye. Good, good. Um, Reaper. Look, just to clarify, see this stuff you've got? It's known as royal jelly. It is taken from something to do with these aliens. You're not sure what creates I it. I know that. Right, you don't remember that, but that's cool. This stuff is very, Aye. very dangerous. And see if you were to, like, just, like, take a small amount of it, it would, like, Turbocharge you. The downside is, is you like might be fucking not. psychotic, right? So it's not <laughs> so something that's like thing plug, plug, plug. No. Um, I know the thing. Barry's took into or is that something else? Who? Barry? I'm, not, I'm so serious. I went Barry's taking. What are you talking about? I don't know. He's talking about Barry. He's not taking anything. Mary found this on the ship. She did make a big deal of it, like of like yeah. scraping off her boot and putting it in a big <laughs> tub. You were in the room at the same time. She winked at it you. It was saying Barry was doing them <laughs> sleep thingies. Uh, he was saying, yeah, that's he was saying, saying <clears throat> yeah, never that's sleep. He was uh, never sleep is a specific type of drug in game that basically means you don't have to sleep. However, it jacks up your stress level. So if someone does that for days in a row, like Barry, they are wild eyed, right? They, I mean, it's very obvious. There's an the other end of the spectrum is another thing which I forget, nap relief I think it's called, and that basically de-stresses you. They've got very similar names they do. I need One makes you not sleep. Yeah. No, I mean, as you'll notice, Mary's been grabbing oh, no, every drug she's <laughs> found the whole time. Like, oh, oh you, mean, you mean Rachel needs that? It's not real life, yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant Rose needs that. I was like, okay, I mean, you can, it's right there. No, just, just me personally. Oh. So yeah, so you're going back and forth, you're discussing percentages. But the main thing is that she found that and you also found information that they got it from somewhere in this camp. Mary specifically mentioned yesterday the temple mm. or the, uh, the the site. She found some information about that. And if they found, the amount she found was mainly kind of in the ground, but there was enough of a pool to get that much, which is enough for a few thousand pills. If you could get more of that, you could make a hundred thousand. And if you could make a hundred thousand, you could fucking retire and buy your own moon. <laughs> right, this stuff is... Go press Latin, baby. For all your Star Trek fans out there. Um, <laughs> see, so, yeah. See, after uh, 
after looking like after making this deal, I'm just like I'm just put like pulling something out out my top pocket and like looking at it going. <laughs> Manny, that is you using your signature item, and you can remove one stress dice from that. <laughs> and so yeah, you can drop a stress level because like one step closer. Uh, I love Logan... that. Whatever that was, it was great. <laughs> I like the fact that she actually pulled it out of her pocket. Manny's going. Yes, yeah, I mean. Water, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Logan, I assume, is not going to pull out a signature item. He probably doesn't have a signature item. But yeah, you've made I a deal. I don't have one. You, what, what have you got? You don't have one? None. No. Do you mean, okay, do you mean your character or do you mean you, Logan? <laughs> I you mean both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, both. Right. Okay. You, your character does have one. What your character's got is it's um, a little kind of a gold uh, medal that you won. It was the first kind of science award you won when you were a child. Um, it was for like, Aww. you know, it was like you went to the science fair and you won first prize. It's just a small kind of, it's not even real gold. It's just made of some kind of cheap tin and you just start rubbing it. And it was the first thing you won. It was for chemistry. And, and it was chemistry is going to save the day. Yeah. And then you can uh... have a stress level. So, what else is happening? These two are like, no, fuck you. No, fuck you. So, yeah. uh, I, I too like don't to... have, I, I too don't have a, stray, uh, a signature item. Uh, lo uh, I... Richard, you're an experienced um, role player, and I bet within the time it's taken me to say these words, you have thought of one. I have. So, <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> Lee, what I was going to say, uh, by the way, uh, your character, when you're rolling for NPCs, it's appearing on the uh, thing. That's fine. Like, we've got uh, I said, I don't care. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, you rolled eight. I'll get you. Specifically, your rules. I don't want you to see the NPCs uh, I can give a fuck about. Mm. I, I will tell you the truth of what they roll, it's just your rules specifically I don't want you guys to know. Because uh, it makes it funnier. And builds a sense of distrust. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, Barry kind of moves back a few steps and you two are now roaring at each other. Yeah. What's your endgame? What are you trying to do here? Come on. Oh, I, so, I just... if, you, if you're going to do something, take charge of this situation, round up these people, Get something organised so we can get off this planet. Why do you want me to do your fucking job for you? Because you're a soldier! Soldier! Uh, yeah, I'm a soldier. You are the corporate. You're the one that whispers in the ears of all the commanders. And you're, you're the absolutely one that right. I'm sorry. Can you do push-ups for me, son? I'll look at Barry. Are you just going to do random push-ups for me? What about Chris over there? Oh, I don't do I know the guy's name. Yeah, you introduced them all, yeah, you pointed them all and said yeah. that was Jill, that was Resident Evil so, names. You're Rebecca here to be a military presence. Be a fucking presence and do your job! Eh, uh, boss, it's okay. No, it is not okay. This no, guy we'll has been a started. pain in my side since I've ever came up here and gave him this fucking opportunity. And he's taking it and wasting it. Upper fucking tunity. Okay, Jack, was... maybe we should just calm down and you know go home roll yes. for a hot head mate roll for a hot head <laughs> me not like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she just told you to calm down and you're a hot head i want to see what happens <laughs> oh <laughs> whoops that is literally the name of his speech no one has ever calmed down when you've said calm down in their lives i love it what will i roll it alongside willpower uh, yeah well, well uh, are there wits or empathy Empathy probably makes more sense. I clicked wits by accident. Oh. Do you want me to recock it as empathy? Nope. Oh, that's that was. Uh, yeah, well, it's, uh, well, that's fine. He rolled a panic. <laughs> <laughs> no successes, one panic. Does that mean that I yes. lose my shit? <laughs> it's, uh, again, this is the dice gods that play here, but you know, we also want to move things on. Fuck. Fuck you so. Right, you. Uh, I see in this moment, you're like, fuck this guy. Fuck you! This is all bullshit. Fine, if he's gonna solve the problem for this, you're just gonna like, fine. Solve the problem. Drop and give him some push-ups. Do it. <laughs> soldier, I soldier. I immediately drop and give him push-ups. Yeah. This is and what then you I, want. And then after I'm done doing them, I stand up and show them. Let's see if you could do shit like that. Then. <laughs> I'll walk over and just go. Never forget, I made you do that. This is <laughs> my fucking run. You do as you're told. Fantastic. You guys are so horrible. Um, <laughs> Lee's uncomfortable in this situation. Oh, sorry, this point, yeah. <laughs> I think we should definitely get moving. This is not good. Right. Anger. Yeah. Barry's going to hold his hands up. He's like, I understand oh, anger. Look, look, look. But... We, we've all 
<laughs> tensions are high. We're all scared. Why don't we just take a breath? Everybody sit down. Right, and I start playing with my pistol in the background. Yeah, just like you and Chris are just staring at each other at this point, just cleaning your weapons really aggressively. <laughs> yeah, like, just uh, every bullet and be like, see I'll, this uh, one. See this fucking I'll look at I'll look to Barry. I'll go, Where's the bathroom? It's through there and points to the room that Brad went into. Okay, I will go to the other bar. I'll go to the bathroom and then say, uh, Actually, I forget your second name, Rose. Price. Price. Uh, does she have a does she have a rank? Private price. They're both privates. Grunts. Yeah. Private price. You're in charge of this until I come back from the bathroom. You think you can handle that? Yes, boss. I've got this. No problem. <laughs> see, I start playing with the... then look, I will look at him and say, "You see, that's how you take orders. That's what gets you forward in life." And I'll I walk I, up to the bathroom. I start to get like this sort of. Grin like in a, my face, <laughs> like a nose bleeding out of the... Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, you know, okay. you know the sort of grin I'm it. talking about. Mm. Like, oh, yeah. <sighs> so the, uh, the only thing stopping me from killing you right now is the fact that I need you. I've, <laughs> you're so pushing and you're pushing on my side right now. Yeah. Um. So I, uh, I'll get to the bathroom. Obviously, if Brad is out. Uh, I'm going to say that there's multiple stalls in the bathroom. Oh. It's like, uh, yeah, you, you can hear Brad being kind of noisily sick in the one at the end. Yeah. Um, like I say, I'll go into the furthest away stall and I will just start shaking, panicking, mm. fuck. Just I've just stood up to a fucking grunt. Yeah. <laughs> he, probably, he probably would have ripped my head off. I will, uh, I will pull out an old fashioned, I'll pull it from a wallet for, uh, I'll pull out my old fashioned I just went to the toilet for an old fashioned paper, <laughs> uh, yeah, for an old fashioned with a glory hole next to him, that's why I went into the so adrenaline. To Brad. yeah, the adrenaline, that's what it is and I'll pull out an old a very old paper dollar hmm. uh, the first dollar I ever made as a child, oh. and I've always kept it and I'll I'll calm myself down just realising what I'm here for and why I'm doing this Absolutely fine, yep. So you can remove one stress dice for yeah. use in your signature item. Uh, now, how this works in here is basically if you spend some time, you can reduce your stress. Um, however, the longer you spend here, the more other things may happen. So yeah. you just go sit down. Chris, uh, what was your signature item? Logan, I'll get to I'm, a second. I'm uh, literally flipping the thingy in one hand, the bullet, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's removing a stress at this okay, point. If you're it's just, stress, yeah. that's absolutely fine. It's more it's like a rage flip. Yeah, it's a rage flip. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Logan, what's Keeping him from the, like going crazy. Is that in the medical parts in the in the medical bay? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you go over to the medical medical um, area. It isn't as well stocked as the ship. It is just kind of like a camp medical site. But yeah, there's a, I'll say there's um, three med packs. Um, you notice that there's no nap relief and no never sleep left there uh, left. Um, there is various kind of painkillers chemicals, um, but nothing out of the ordinary. This is just for things like burns and uh, like kind of camp injury. There's nothing, like, this isn't a lab. This is simply for treating injuries that may be sustained in any type of kind of a outpost. Is there anything specific you're looking for other than the, medic pack, the medical packs? Uh, I use one and D to a Natalie? You absolutely can. So if you want to use one on yourself, any damage you've taken, you can uh, heal up. Uh, and if you give one to mm -hmm. Natalie as well, uh, you can both. You can either do a medical rule to get you both, or you can do dependent medical rules up to you. you know, oh. I Has been Natalie injured. been damaged? No. No, she's not been damaged. She's fine then. I'll take a medical um, bag if you want. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, medical rule. Um, yeah, absolutely fine, mate. You've got your two successes. Uh, yeah, any damage you've taken, just. Spray on the future bullshit that makes things better. Bruises go down. You inject the syringe straight into your eyeball. Makes you much better. Um, while you're in there, though, you do notice um, some medical reports. Um, just lying at the side, it just says medical recent well, just medical reports for things that have happened recently. Um, I'll show them to. I should just show them to everyone if you want to read through. Um, uh, basically, what you find here is medical reports for two patients from the Icarus, which is weird. Um, 
one of them suffered some minor impact trauma on the dropship. Mm -hmm. And one of them had an unidentified organism on their face. Would that have been the um, thingy? What thingy? The sogo. The... <laughs> the head crab. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it won't have been, no. No, it's definitely not that. <laughs> no. It, it absolutely 100% is a face hugger, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. You've never got this far in the ship to learn this, but there was another dropship that went to the planet and it did indeed have two people on it. One had just sustained injuries to their face, but the report was during the time stuff was happening, so it was literally an automatically generated report, and the closest things it had was injuries to face. And now you've got down here, it was this. Um... Okay. I'll uh, come out the bathroom stall after the, the allotted time. Well, before we go any further, Logan, do you give this report? To, I know you might have had to read it there, but Logan, have you given this or told anyone about this? Or do you want to tell anyone about this? Uh, I tell my team about it. So he goes out and he kind of like, hey, what the fuck's this? Um, and Barry, of course, hears this. He's like, yeah, that's that's when it started. That That thing. I'll uh, What's wash it the toilet, exactly? uh, it dry my choice. hands. <laughs> <laughs> dry his hands, zips up his flies, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, was was the like face hugger on the, the escape pod? Or the dropship? No Wait. other one, it was on the other. It was on his face. It was, it? it was on the previous dropship. There's a, the, something... Because this is in the, the report, uh, obviously. The dropship that arrived, there's been three dropships recently. You're one. Mm-hmm. A different one, which I can't talk about because you haven't found that information yet, but you would have found it on the ship. Um, mm. And um, the first one, the first one had two occupants. One suffered some injuries during the the the, uh, the dropship landing because they weren't quite good pilots, and but they were just regular kind of like um, impact injuries. And one had some kind of unknown foreign thing on its face. Um, Are so those people dead? So, aye. Good question. Um, Where is that face go? Right, so you're asking this to Barry, I assume, yeah? Yeah. He looks at you like, I, I, we picked this building because there's, there's medical supplies in here, things were happening, people were getting sick. So we came in here, I read that, I don't know, I assume they, they got rid of it. I mean, there's an incinerator round the back, they maybe threw it in there, I don't know. But I, I've never met those people. We were on shift when the ship came down, and then when we finished, they said we had to report to the barracks and stay there. They don't tell us what happens. It's called compartmentalization. Exactly. He looks at the corporate. They come out. Yeah. They right. don't <laughs> okay. tell us what happens. They keep the shift separate. We sleep in separate places because they don't want us chatting. He looks at you, he's like, How recent? all this, I'm pretty sure, doesn't exist. That's why well, they pay me what they doesn't. pay me. None um, of it exists. It's all in our minds. Didn't you know that? He looks thought for a second, <laughs> with his kind of sleep-deprived brain thinking about that, like, kind of like... <laughs> I, I clock on uh, the fact that uh, Grimm's got like a name for it and sort of understood it clearly understand something more is going on. Oh, we're going to pressurise oh, again. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And I walk over to Grim. I've forgotten. I've stepped away it's from him. I'm, I'm like going looking, over to Barry now. Just looking nor like looking less agitated than before. And then I walk up to him and calmly say to him, tell us what you fucking know now. Now it's the difference between life and death. Okay, all I know is there's that wee crab thing we've seen on the ship is called a face hugger and it hugs your face and gives you a big old kiss and you die. Kind he says that in oh, no, science no shit <laughs> Ah, it's in science talk. <laughs> ah, it's not so exactly you know... ash on the, the, on the <sighs> Nostromo, is it, as before? <laughs> <laughs> right, um, what Logan explains to you is that he has no idea what this thing is. However, he has worked with parts of this. He's worked, read reports of alien creatures that implant embryos in people's shit. He's never worked directly with it. He's seen the aftermath and the boy, the byproducts. He was given specimens. He didn't question where they came from, but using his scientific knowledge, he's like, well, that 
needs a host that had to put a host in something and he was guessing they were not using cows because it's quite hard to can transport cows to the frontier you know it's not mm. easy to, you know, it is easy to transport pigs humans People will go all them. by themselves at this point the marines <laughs> would look at themselves like what's cheap and easy to get mm. to take out to the frontier and no one really misses oh the stasis pod must have broke oh that ship got lost Happens all the time. Oh, oh, so is this sort of, it's sort of clicking in our, our heads that that's what broke the stasis pod? Um, Something like that. Uh, you tell me, mate. Is that cl clicking in your head? I'd say, like, I'd have to roll for it. Because, like, I wouldn't just... Well, you just... absolutely do not have to roll for it. Do I not. do not make people roll in my games unless I think it's required. Okay. I'd say if it's Chris, sort of, it's like, it's my girl's like... Of... I've seen a uh, giant monster melt a fucking dropship with its yeah. blood. Right. That's that'd sort of be playing around because remember he is like a heavy and he's survive surviving so like mm. he'd be yeah. trying to figure out what's happening mm. as as it was going even when he's pissed off he's still got that bit of his his brain assessing the situation and what's going on. He's not stupid, you know. You've you have seen some shit. You guys have been around, yeah, and you know that, the corporation is in to make a buck, and so he's like. Just heard, mm -hmm. This is what this mission was about then, Grim. From the start. Something bigger than a couple of grunts. No offence, Rose. <laughs> Some techie and a middle management asshole. I forgot I was Grim now for a second. Uh, well, I don't know about who... I don't... Who are... I don't know who actually gets picked. Um, I, I just got picked as well, so I don't really... Grim, know I know exactly thing. how the things get picked. I've been picked by him before. So, he's known that this has been going on. Ugh. Basically, me? yep. Um, yeah. I mean, you I mean, know, the corporal and the scientists have definitely got working knowledge. I would go as far as to say the roughneck probably didn't question where the good drugs were coming from. Most of them are made of, though. <laughs> Just, just all Look, about that <laughs> money. I don't particularly Rich, like check your all messages. About the cash. Rich, check I, your messages. I don't particularly Rich like you, Grim. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to see yeah. you die here in this shithole. So Where's if you have phone? any information how to kill things, now would be the time to tell I me. I don't know where my phone is. Okay. I, do I, I don't know how. I don't know how the, the xenomorph king die can. I know. Yeah. Uh, right, do you know the Xenomorph side? Yeah, he, he shot fire at it, it screamed and ran away, it hit away a grenade. It dies by killing it. It's not a god, it's not like invulnerable. It just, you need to shoot it a bunch of times. I are, mean, you, are you saying that if it, if it bleeds, we can you kill can it? Kill it. <laughs> we can kill it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> From what we saw, the fucker doesn't like fire. Who here has all got something? That can use fire. Barry kind of looks at you and he pulls out like a, an incinerator. Like Doom Guy. He's just got. <laughs> I've got an incinerator apparently as well. Uh, yeah, um. Listen. You know, like, you see Chris kind of, like, he doesn't have fire. He just kind of like, I've got, I've got this. Um, Logan, you've got a small bolt weapon. However, yours, although it doesn't do a lot of damage, can punch through things that would be considered armored. Um, yeah, I mean, you just have all got something. Surprisingly, you all something, mm. apart from every corporate, that can, um, that could um, definitely put something big in it. I mean, if you have been ready for that, you know, you could have done some damage, but you had never seen that before in your life. It's, that's what, no, that's well, what threw you. Now, I have it's one final no question for you, buddy. So, one second, what do you say, Logan? Is no my way, is my way no, like, technically pointless? Because see if I punch a hole. But like, see if it was like the xenomorph with all mm -hmm. the blood, the acid, and all that sort of stuff. Melt, yeah, anyway, uh, unfortunately, so, mate. Read the range, mate. <laughs> Give me a second. Anyway, while well, he's reading the medium range, um, it's uh, yeah, you've you can do things with this. As you're talking, uh, Barry's now because he's looking at the time. Barry's gonna say, um, why don't we? I just want to get out of here with my team. Why, that went to Ralph there. I just want to get out of here with my team. team. I just want to get team. I want to keep it all safe. Uh, we need to, if we need to get out of here, we, and you can't open that shit, why don't... 
<sighs> Why don't we just try and find the actual boss? Have any of you guys got like a, a, a tracker? I, I, actually, I. He looks at the, the several people who definitely have trackers. Yes, we have trade. trackers. Yeah. I, um, but my human who's playing me has lost her phone, so. <laughs> right, what I will say is that um, he looks at it and he pulls out some kind of equipment he's got and he goes out and he punches in and he downloads the um, the the devices that every colonist has and every camp worker has installed them mm. that gives you the location. Much like in Aliens 2. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. So we can, uh, if we can get to him, then we can, so we can, we can get his his codes, his card, and we can get the fuck out of here. That's very true. Thing is, if he was alive, he would have left by now. Well, uh, something about it. he tends to work in the the big building, the gateway. Um, he looks at you for sounds like, and he just goes, fuck. I heard they found something down there, something big that I'm not supposed to know about, but it's hard to not speak to anybody. There's something old down there, and they found, I'm going to guess, those things. And he works down there, but when the lockdown went in place, he was down there. Now, when you just look at the trackers, Mm -hmm. There is indeed life signs coming from the temple. Minimal life signs. Yeah. Much like in Aliens too. So. Oh. Well. So they're, they're alive. alive. They should go there. But we they're, yeah, if they're alive, they should go then. Get in there, because it's powered. And the shield will stop you. You need to cut the power. I know how to do we that. Do that exactly? What? Uh, what about the, the vehicle? Is there no something about the vehicle? Which vehicle? You mean the, the ship? Oh, I can't mind what you said about the vehicle was now. Uh, the, the ship, ship that you're going to use to get off the planet, that's what we're talking about now. They need basically... Because oh, right. this is like a video game. You need to get the specific thing to make the vehicle go. Um, <laughs> and it's not just sitting in the first area. You need to go and get it. And of course, it's in the dangerous place. Otherwise, yeah. this would be too easy. Um, Lee, Lee, check mm -hmm. your messages. Uh, it was my Facebook, my Discord messages. Discord. Cool. Uh, you have bits and pieces that you've put, you have put together over time. Okay. Um, you are getting a bit more, but this is the exact kind of thing that could you could use because you know who was in charge of this. You know the corporals that should have been doing this, and they've cut some corners. Mm. That's the kind of thing that maybe move you up the ladder a bit. You've Aye, already true. seen. Hmm. Um. So yeah. So Barry's um two ways we can go to the power plant, switch off the power but that maybe cause some other problems or we can go to the control centre and maybe could just cut off the, the, the lockdown to the building you have a go on, go have a computer here somewhere a terminal and well, yeah there's a terminal in the office, what are you trying to find? Gonna have a look. Uh, yep. Right, so uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, anyway, I can bypass that whole thing and just shut the power, shut uh, the, or at least divert some of the power from the power plant to the gate from here. Uh, no. Cut the whole thing yeah. down. No, this is. <laughs> As you're trying that, the uh, the roughneck was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's just, right. I'm we, just we, watching this happen. <laughs> yeah, roll, yeah, roll me a contact. Uh, roll me a comms. Uh, contact yep, no, roll, please. No problem. <clears throat> well, this is happening. I ask Barry, is there any chance anyone has a rifle? Uh, points to Chris. Chris has got his kind of like uh, Ali is black market rifle and kind of like holds it a bit tighter towards himself. <laughs> uh, what do you want? We're not going to give up our weapons. Have you seen that thing? We already no, threw our biggest guns at it and we didn't get anything else It was else just in us. case you had any spare ri rifles? No. Um, I'll just show uh, Jock my uh, shotgun that I just got. Uh, would you like this? Give it back to Barry. 
Are you sure? Yeah, I'll make them okay. with what I've got. And I'll give Barry back his shotgun. You know, maybe just don't try and kill the boss next time, because, you know, some of us will actually get in trouble. No, I'll probably get himself killed anyway. Well, that's not our fault, is it? Um, that's not the way corporate would see it. Right. Um, so, yeah, uh, Richard, having looked through it, yeah, nothing is... Um, there's no way of shutting down any kind of power signal from this. There's two main places. Um, cool. Um... Yeah, your power center will knock out power to everything. That will also that'll also knock out the lights. I don't think you just want to be able to only just want to walk around here in the dark. Or we, we have do. helmets. Yeah, you'll be the only things giving off light then. A good point. A very good point. They, they mainly come at night, <laughs> mostly. So they mostly come most. At night. They mostly, they mostly come, come at night. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, what do you just want to do then? We've got you got two options: comms or power. If we go to power, so you can uh, you could. There's probably a way to cut power just to the gateway. Okay. But those Jock. things are in there. You're a military man. How would you go about this? Well, first of all, the first thing I wouldn't do is split us up. I'd take both teams together. And Barry, look, you say both teams? Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what now? I feel like I'm going to survive. Look with Barry. The, the best way for you lot to survive is to work with us. Yeah, you you gonna... want off this planet as well, don't you? Well, I, I do, but I was. You guys, you're Marines, you're fighters. I, 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 I'll punch somebody in a bar but I don't that guy over monsters. there with the rifle seems like a fighter Chris has had some military training yeah exactly so if we all work together it's I'm, just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say you're safer Sorry, with us yourself. than you I'm are wrong. here by yourself true mm. yeah so you want us to come with you? Yes. And the right. other thing I would say is keep Valen in the middle so that because he's no use in any fight. Uh, no offence, boss. Yes. Total. Um, Jill and Rebecca are kind of now that they're here and that's like they have to go back out there. They are looking like wide eyed and be like, oh shit. Um. Is that? Are, are all of us going to go out? And then um, Becca then goes, I'm, I'm going to check on Brad. Um, and stands up and goes into the, the room, uh, the the bathroom. So, okay, what so do you wh think where are we going first? Where, where do you want to go first then? Do you want a power plant? Do you want to go calm? Uh, the control room? Well, those uh, things are in there. You haven't seen those things yet. Where would you say is more dangerous? Obviously, we'll go that way. <laughs> this. Uh, and answer to that question, no. Um, there's. They're both dangerous. The power plant, I, I've not. They got sick. They went crazy. The comms, I've not been there before, but I assume, this, I assume the worst. The lights are on. But I mean. We've, we've been hiding out here for days, waiting. We only, when we heard the ship coming down, we thought we were getting out. We've not been exploding. We've pulled up and been quiet. And whatever's out there hasn't came for us yet. If we turn the power off, whatever's out there will come for you. Yeah, well, you could just, when you go and get the thing, you could come back here and get us and we could all leave together. Yeah, you're but we... You're not going to save people? You want to take me, okay. that old listen, man? Listen, okay. listen, they're clearly not up to the task here. You've given them the offer, they're not taking it. So okay. I suggest we just fuck off, okay? That's probably Let's the best go. option. Where are we going now? You want the commander from the bathroom. Oh dear. I immediately raise the incinerator and head towards the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, pat... Well. 
I will pat uh, Jock on the shoulder. Go check it out. <laughs> I order you to do so. Um, I love it. Order them. Um, Rebecca is in the bathroom, and Brad, who now has gone completely white and has large black veins all over his face, eyes have gone completely black, and is just screaming, slavering, just black mucus flying out of his mouth, has grabbed both of them and is trying to bite into Rebecca. I will get him. Everyone okay. that goes into the room, he looks up and he looks at these black, inky, soulless eyes, immediately take a stress dice. This is okay. unhuman. He is screeching. It is like this this noise should rip apart his throat. So Jock, you went I, in? I don't think I went in, in but yeah. I, I, I think, think I might have looked around the door. <laughs> so ah! like, so oh, yeah, he, he's currently trying to fucking rip that girl's face off. She is not I wearing a helmet. Smash his face in with the butt of my girl. Right, so you're gonna you're a close combat and try like and get him knock off him here. out, sort of like not smash his face, and that was a bit too much. No, that's absolutely Rachel. That's absolutely fine. That's what I expect from you. <laughs> right, uh, do you have a we do you have a um, melee weapon, or are you just run up with a rifle and just try to smash, like knock him out? I have a stun button. Interesting. Can you have a stun button. Maybe you could use that. Yeah, I'm used to that. Um... You run up and you just fucking drag him across. I'm gonna make him over you're a traitor. I'm gonna make him over you. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, you go through two successes. You, you fucking smash him inside the head. Literally, you crack and you see the skull split. And just this black ooze just goes down his face. And his head goes down. And it just comes back straight. Ah, and he just launches himself at you and grabs onto you. And he's trying to tear through your suit. I switch to my pistol and aim a shot. Describe it to me, mate. Come on, you aim a shot. What are you doing? Come on, grab okay, it. What are you I'm doing? I'm gonna what shout. Get the lady out of here. I uh, I aim it up like directly at his head, like basically against it. Right, Rachel, give me a strength roll. Chris, give me. Uh, we'll call yeah. it a close combat roll. Rachel, what you're trying to do is fucking back into something to give him a clear shot. Well, I did not get anything from that. Okay, so that is right, Chris. You're going to need at least two successes here. Close combat, did you say? Close combat, mate. Okay, where about it says close combat? I've not had to do it. It's right at the top of should be a where so the skills are. Machinery, stamina, and that's yeah, it's right, right around your central part, mate. It should be right there. Yep, that'll do. You got your two successes. You did get a panic roll, so this is like a. But yeah, you manage, you fuck it, you threaten, and what makes you panic is when you cram it under his mouth, it sinks straight through the skin, like you were not expecting that. It's like, oh my god, that shouldn't have happened. But the skin starts sloughing off. <laughs> and yeah, it sprays the back of his head across the wall. You drop the weapon as he collapses to the ground. The blood starts bubbling out of him. It's almost like each, it's like it's like alive, it's like mucusy. Um, Rebecca is on the ground. And there's black mucus all over her. And she's not wearing any BA suit. Um, Jock, what should we do? I'd keep an eye on you guys ignoring I'm this or you sure guys it, going I'm not sure if it's the best idea I'm to not, do yeah, I'm not going no. in there. I'm still been peeking around the door. I'm like, oh, fuck. Shit. Barry and Chris <laughs> run in. I'm going to kill the lass. Wait, wait, wait. I'll grab... Uh, no, I'm not grabbing you. No, no, I'm not grabbing you. Fuck that. I'm grabbing Chris and. No, 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 no. Stay here. Uh, he's just immediately. Goes to knock you off. Are you are you going to try and grapple him or are you. He's a big strong boy. You can try. I'm not going to stop you. He is. Just tackle him. <laughs> he's um... fucking killing her. No, no, no. Uh... Ba, ba, ba. Well, I don't exactly do announce it to everyone out there. No, no, so I'm gonna, I'm, to... I'm gonna try and I'm holding on to him. I'm trying to calm him down, and convince him, manipulate. Uh, give me a. No, 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 no. What I'll tell you is, manipulate is not a magic mind control thing. He can choose oh, to it. ignore this. This is. <laughs> no, no, no. You're better than this. I need that anger placed somewhere else. Give me a manipulate. I'm gonna say this is a minus two to success because his friends him. So if you're gonna three dice, he will says he will hesitate. Uh. The other thing I don't have is not going to help here. Okay, I may have overplayed my hand here. <laughs> I got three! Oh. I got three! Boom! Nice one, mate. Chris does nice. it. He's like, 
But she needs, she needs me. Barry charges straight in. Yeah. And I he's don't like, give a fuck about she's Barry. Invented, he she's invented. Get back from her. Get back from her. I'll, uh, We're fine. We hearing can... that, I'll turn around and get say, Chris. Get fucking back. See? And he pulls out the incinerator. Fucking yeah. get back. She's going to become one of them. Uh, yeah. oh, he's I getting back for going for it. I dart out of the way. I'm just watching. Yeah, it. Oh, he's already. He has literally pulled out his flame unit and he's getting ready to blast his friend because. Okay, I'll move out of the way and let him do it. And she, of course, starts screaming because she's at this point still human. So, uh, everyone that sees that, please take a stress dice. You've just watched a man torture Another a one. woman yeah. that is on the floor. That looked real funny. Can, can I shoot her in the head? Of course you can. She goes quiet. Okay. Uh, that's that that probably be... the best thing you could have done there, to be <laughs> like, fair. Like, quickly, was... like, yeah, I don't want to burn alive. I will yeah. say that empathy exists in this universe. So mm -hmm. anyone that witnessed that, give me an empathy roll to see whether or not you're like, oh, that was a good idea, or like, I've just watched a woman get set on fire and I... shot in the face. That real fucked up. Uh, Certainly didn't witness that. I stopped uh, Chris from witnessing it as well, and I need yeah. him... I need him... Compass Mentis. Jock, you run straight out of the room. You have that is fucking harrowing. That reminds you of something that you have done, and it is like proper. Your heart is pounding almost out of your chest. You rip off your own mask in another room. Um, I, I charge out, and I'm just <laughs> Rachel. Like, you're fine. I'm pale. All the empathy. And the hand is like shaking, starting to shake now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you just feel. Like Logan, you actually have a skill um, that could maybe calm him down there. You're going quiet, mate. Too he's on, he's, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's on you. Has you made up? Aye, counsellor. Yeah, I've yes, played only in battle. No, you Quite can do it. Well, it's no. not a fucking game, mate. Whatever I say it is, it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I say, I'm including you in the game, mate. So this is... Yeah. I am ordering I you use to, to counsel him. <laughs> counsel him. Go say something nice. They're there. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you'll be alright. <laughs> they're there. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. We have it's a stage okay. The tremors. This is, why people, feel this is why people tune in. Yeah. <laughs> he puts his hand on your shoulder and he says some comforting words to you with his deep psychological training he's had over years, decades. And you also feel a pinch at your neck. And Logan, use one of your de-stressing uh, medications to help this guy, because um, your RP was was on point there. Um, range. There, there. You're fine. Pat, pat. Um, <laughs> so, so that's it. So yeah, Chris, you you kind of feel your your heart kind of stops pounding. They're saying making soothing noises that you can't even hear them over the blood rushing to your through your body, but then you kind of feel that chemical <laughs> kind of. Um, release and it just it um, just gently calms you. Okay. However, Barry is screaming and he is just firing this flame thing straight into. Yeah, he uh... turns it to Brad's body. Yeah. Rachel, you're in the room with him. Are you gonna just let him keep setting fire to everything? Oh hell no! Okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna shoot him. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a no, fuck. I'll stop him. I'll uh, oh. I'll grapple him. I'll give a grab I'll grapple him. Right, I would say that you kind of grab it. You, you using your kind of, you're very strong. You, you pull his, and what do you say to make him stop? Uh, calm down, calm down. She is, she is gone. Uh, I shot her in the head to make sure. Okay, you need sorry. to calm down. She just puts him straight Look. into the chokehold. Just yeah. quiet down. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. I, calm down let's go outside, back into the place where everyone else is. Can, can and I try and help? Spray. Can I try and get Barry to calm down as well? Fell a rough neck. No, I mean, do you think Rachel uh, managed to calm him down there with her, uh, th her shots at no, I know she's got it under um, control. I'm just like trying to stop her from killing him. So, like, you're like, absolutely not going to No, no, I'm not, I'm not going to kill him. I know, but my like, character doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're being should, funny now. Yeah, should, so, can someone let me do a thing. Um, so, Mary's, uh, your pistol's gone, mate. Your pistol was in that guy's head across the room. The pistol is gone. Um, yeah, it came oh, off in his head, mate. Uh, and then they set it on fire. So you can try and go back and get it if you want, but a lot of I flames. Mary, you go up and you put your hand on Barry, and you can just see, like again, just the extreme stress of no sleep for multiple days. And he's like, he's still squeezing his hand like he's got his finger on the trigger, even though Rachel's now literally ripped the weapon out of his hand. Uh. <laughs> Say something to him, Mary. <laughs> Barry, Barry, we've been through this there, there. stuff like this before. Come on now, you're a roughneck. We always get the shit. We always get it. 
You've seen people obliterated yeah. by the machinery. You'll be fine. And I'm not just talking about the shit machinery. I'm talking about this whole bullshit. He kind of blinks, and he kind of like blinks for like a long time, and you kind of like see the tension as it's just, just he's just absolutely tense all the muscles, and we've lost too many. Also, I have these painkillers. He grabs him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Um, Crunch him, which must be disgusting. Have you ever been to a paracetamol yeah. before? Yeah. This, this is like proper God, good. No. Oh. I'll, uh, and then he grabs a bottle of which very clearly kind of like some distilled bullshit gut rot and just takes a massive glug from it and then just pushes it into your chest, Vinny. <laughs> I'll take some Drink as well. with me. It's fucking rancid. It's probably turpentine. Yeah, perfect. Mixed with perfect. Three, I like wince spinner. like this is the good turpentine. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, and he looks, we, can, we can't stay here. It's going to burn down. And yeah, the, the heat is indeed kind of catching on to some of the kind of prefab mouldings and you can see it's burned. We need to go. You need to make a decision. Is You're crazy, but you're right, Barry. Um, yeah, go, yeah, there is a sprinkler system. I'll, I'll push the sprinkler system and put the fire out. Pop, pop, pop. A small squirt right. of chemicals comes out and stops. I will say to, I will say to Chris, uh, this is... Just to clarify, it. it didn't work. Right, just to, uh, just yeah, 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 I know. I know. I'll, uh, stops. The, the guy Chris has stopped, I'll turn right. says, first off, you listen to me, corporal. First, second off, I stopped you because I don't want you ending up with him, and I'll do the, the backwards point to the jock. Thirdly, get her, get out, we're moving. Yeah, boom. Door opens, fire is now continuing to catch on things, the chemicals are getting hot. Yeah. Yep, we just want to go. Right. Uh, if there's anything as I'm going out the door, if there's anything worth grabbing, I will grab. If you want to stay in the fire and build the fire building, no, no, you no. Can. As we're leaving, as we're leaving, we I'll fire, grab yeah. anything. Everyone with anything value. There's nothing that you, right. you yeah. see. Everyone has their weapons not with them. Yeah, it's it's on fire. Right. So, yeah. uh, I'll I'll saddle up to the guy Chris uh, as he's making sure he's looking after the lasses. Is you ex military? Jumped out for sheer. Well, you're military now. You're under my watch. Okay. I'll make sure you. I'll make. I will make sure it's worth your. your I will make sure it's worth your while. You keep a ghoul head. I will make sure you're fine. We need more soldiers. You understand? He he stares at you for like a long time, like ten seconds without speaking. Says, "My friend just set my friend on fire. I don't trust you. You're gonna get me killed. But at the moment, you're my only hope. So let's move. Where are we going? Well, looks like we're going to break down this door. Okay." Right. That was the control room. That was the power generator. Make a decision. We'll go to the control room. Go, move. And starts looking, <laughs> watching your sex. Everyone, move. Go, so we are <laughs> <laughs> All the aliens that have been here. <laughs> that nice? I'm assuming you don't shout. However, the fire is yeah. now kind of like starting to come through. It is thick black smoke. It looks like this building won't catch on to anything else. Or maybe it will. Uh, but he's moving towards the control room. A short way down across, he's moved down some alleyways, you don't see anything. You still hear some kind of like, kind of weird noises off in the distance. That's them. The fire's probably taking their attention. But you just managed to make it there. <laughs> on... Let's move away from the fire. Yeah. Then. yeah. <laughs> the, you do see a room. Again, just simple panel, control room. Uh, it's up a kind of, um, it's appears to be on top of some building, which you're going to assume is maybe the officer's quarter. Mm -hmm. um, or at least the people in control, uh, they know that they hire up the command structures co um, quarters, and there's just some metal stairs outside the building leading to a small control room, which I have. I don't have a map for, but I've got a thing for. Let me just have a look. Control room. There you go. Um, so yeah, you move up, and again, prefab on top of a prefab corridor with a door at the end. There is some lights flickering. Well, I say flickering. It's kind of odd because it's not like a flicker is just like the lights kind of dim for a second. Mm -hmm. This is almost like the lights get blocked by something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but there's a door ahead of you. Uh, I'll uh, private price. Yes. Got one. Of, you got one of those things, right? Trackers. Of course. You want to check, make sure that's definitely flickering. <laughs> is it, Lee? I hate this. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, I'm just going to get my gun out and try and... You know what's something about these, though? They're really slow moving. It's definitely pinging off some shapes. And then uh -huh. you recognise there's... They're, More than one. They're green. Green doesn't mean unidentified. Green means identified. Green means camp workers. Bing, 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 bing. This is strange. I'm gonna Why is walk it private? further in. But I'm gonna have my gun ready. Uh, Chris, do you want to back her up, please? I don't know the term. Uh, I was saying to Chris, you want to back her up, please? I don't know oh, the right, term. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I must hear that. So I was like, okay, yeah. So yeah, I yeah, realised what I meant. Uh, bad name for a character, Lee. Bad name for a character. <laughs> yeah, um, bad right, so you got a ca uh, So as you approach the door, the door is like off center. You've seen something like this before, though. You've seen a door that was kind of like almost ripped open and then closed so hard that it that it kind of came off of its axis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've seen that yet? You've seen that in the last episode uh, <laughs> earlier today on the ship. Yeah. But it has been opened and then smashed shut. I'm gonna move it. If you want to open this door, give me a strength mind. roll. Yeah. So, Chris, are you backing her up? No, uh, I was uh, telling the other Chris. The, oh, sorry, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. So, Chris Redfield, come Redfield. Redfield. Yeah, we'll call Redfield. Is, uh, yeah. Redfield yeah. is backing him up. Uh, backing I him did up. great. Um. I got three successes. You did indeed. So yeah, you pull and you strain for a second and you, <laughs> you smash it into the side and there's indeed light in this room beyond you. And you see some colonists just kind of like across the room. One's hanging from the ceiling. They have no skin or heads and their chests oh. are ripped open. All, right. All three of them. All four of them. All four of them. Oh, we got two Any, any of them are uh, are gentlemen that we're looking for the corp. Um. Because we, I think we got the tags. Yeah. Did we not get the tags? You for did the... get the tags, them, yeah. Right. Um. They are not the head. They they are not the. These are guys. These right. are camp guards. They. Wait, um, is it, were the were the dots moving when I was looking at it? They were, or were moving, the dots yeah. in they the were same like, place every are they time? swinging? Are yeah, they swinging? Like, right, yeah. Okay. okay, that makes sense. Right, oh, right, we've got no time to deal with this. I am full corporation mode here, trying to right, I calm myself down. Straight to a control, right. control panel, see if I can get power to it. Before we do that, anyone that sees the headless, skinless yeah, yeah. corpses, it's going to take a stress dice. Well, I, I so, guess I've got it. Anyone <laughs> who was in yeah. the corridor, take a motherfucking stress dice, because yep. that is stressful. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Chris, uh, sorry, Redfield points to and says, I know that guy, that's, that's Richie. Who actually, I just realised, I called one guy Chris and one guy Richard, completely unintentional. <laughs> that's guys from Resident Evil who died. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, nice. So he was actually called Aitken, I'll call him Aitken. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so he's like, ah, fuck. He was, he was. Oh, he went to fucking investigate. Oh, fuck. Right, but okay. right, but have you seen anything like this before? I don't know these fucking things. Do you know this is how he eats them? I don't know. Fucking... Have Have I seen anything like this before? Have I well, have, have I heard anything? Never, right. You have never heard of this kind of behaviour. This is well, new. Yeah. I think well, another swig of berries, bro. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> you've never heard of this kind of... Everything you've dealt with has been scientific. You've never done behavioural. So you understand the structure of these things and what they can be used for. The acid is particularly potent, can be used for like certain types of uh, shaping things and as an incredibly potent acid. Um, the jelly can be used to make very potent pharmaceuticals. You have no idea how these things behave. For all you know, they have jobs and paint pictures. They are just... This is fucking bizarre. But, I mean, there's parts of these things missing, so maybe it eats them. Who knows? Um, but yeah, try just stealing yourself and just getting by them. Um, there is indeed a system where you can divert power around the camp. So whoever yeah. wants to do a contact role can certainly try. He can also be assisted. So I am. Um, I, I can assist if you want. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would actually like that. Uh, 
Yeah, prefer go for that. It. You can. Uh, do, 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 do. I do a com tech. Check. It's yeah, enough. It is certainly enough. Using your corporate knowledge, you're like, okay, I've got the codes for this. This will just be a basic system. Do, 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 do. Okay. Got my card, slot it in there. That'll bypass some basic security. That's absolutely mm. fine. You find the uh, the power systems for the comp uh, for the camp itself, and indeed there is a lockdown on the uh, the gateway building. You mm -hmm. hit it, lockdown lifted. Is, it says, before I do that, before I do that, is a communications open to the the building? Yeah, there's that. Actually, there absolutely is communications right, open to the that's... gateway building itself. But the, everything that you try to go to beneath it just says access restricted. You could probably right. hack through it. It would take a while. I would like to, and I'm going to type you the message just to see what's what's happening here. Okay. Are there any weapons been... laying about? Uh, yes, actually, there is some weapons lying around. There is uh, the kind of weapons that um, Chris is using, uh, and a few pistols and one of the shotguns. And all seem would very badly the... damaged. Oh damn it! Um, no incinerators. And uh, so anything you see has looks like it has been destroyed in some kind of fight. Because I only um... have an incinerator at the minute. <laughs> Do you just have your smart gun? No, I didn't. I forgot to pick it up when we were back at the... Let's just say you picked it up, mate. Well, I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Gonna, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to argue. As if you're like, oh, I'll just go with this. No, you fucking pick up your smart gun. Of course you did. You're Thank a freak, man. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have forgot that. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking I'm for that. kind of DM, man. Time. Oh, you didn't say it, so it didn't happen. You don't mention breathing every 30 <laughs> seconds, but I'm assuming you guys are breathing as well. No, I've not uh, been doing this whole time. Going on. It's the drugs. I'm <laughs> flicking my coin. The drugs my, are breathing fire. Uh, yeah. it again. Right, um, I think uh, I'll just be looking around the room, just seeing if it, what the equipment's like in there in general. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, That's all right. I'm just telling about. Uh, I'm flicking my bullet, trying right. to focus. Uh, right, cool. Sorry, I, that was really lousy spelling, because I just started it quick, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, so, so yeah, so uh, are you switching off the lockdown? Yes. Okay, you switch off the lockdown. Um, the lockdown starts to lift. Quick with those codes, Cupcake. <laughs> um, Maddie, what were you saying you were going to do? Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was just looking at, like, around the room, seeing what the, all the equipment in there looked like, just, like, yeah, you've seen this kind of. I mean, this this kind of office exists on pretty much every camp you've ever been to. It's basically just they're not big on cameras uh, in the company because they don't want people to see what they're doing. But there is like sensors that ping off things, so like they can they can tell where you're going, but they don't like the video footage because that can be copied and leaked too easily. Mm. Um, but apart from this, it controls power. Uh, it just gives you like green across the board for the filtration systems. There does appear to be lots of damage to the outside ventilation. It's still in working order, but it looks like something's been tearing through the uh, the ventilations to get outside and then come back in. Don't know what that could have been. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, everything seems to be green or at least operational across the board to some degree. Uh, is there anything specific you're looking for? or No, I'm just sort of tapping at things going, well, water's good, air, not so much. Mm. Yeah, the, uh, the planet's atmosphere itself is breathable, but like... You know, like when they dump you in an awful say it's breathable, mm. but by the way, use this respirator, take these pills, and also don't breathe it. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, like, it's breathable, you won't die but try not to. Yeah. As few breaths as possible between now and when you're leaving in here. Yeah, um, you so, won't yeah. die painlessly. <laughs> <laughs> you You'll be die. fine. Yeah, it'll be okay. Just ignore the droids that are melting. Um, yeah, so, anyway, so yeah, you have a look across, it's green across the board. It's. If you had shut down the whole thing, that might have caused issues, but you just have kept it on. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just monitoring these things and noticing. To, I'm just like, yeah, I'll. Uh, yeah. There is a failsafe attached to the yeah. system. As you've done it, codes flash up. Require level nine access to deactivate sirens. Unauthorized access to system. Got to try it's and hack it. Absolutely, give me a contact rule. Um, I'm going to say this is pretty heavy encryption, and if you want to do it quickly. Uh, I'm going to say you need at least yeah. two successes. Wish me luck, guys. 
I cannot I'll see assist. that because I can't see it. Uh, I will assist. You got one. Two no, 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 no. No, I'm no, no I want to push that. I'm oh, going to push, push it. Push it. <laughs> push it with my. Uh, I think I can do that with my. Uh, you can do it. You can push it. You're always allowed to push a roll. Oh, I can roll. I can do it twice actually, so I can you roll can it again. You can push any roll, and you can push a second yeah. time with the feet you have, so you can okay. push. So do, does it. that? I forget. Does this success carry over? No. Not for right, this one. Okay. okay. It's more fun if it doesn't. True. <laughs> uh, I will. I will go cunning. I will do cunning okay. for that. This is the final push. This is a feat no. that he is using. No. And he I... got two panic rolls. You yeah. see him frantically. It's like, no, no, no. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. No, okay. no, that didn't work. Okay, okay. I can do this. I remember how to do it. I remember how to do it. And he presses the one. Bam, 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 bam. Unauthorized access to system. Yep. Can I try it? Oh, guards report. Oh, no, you're not trying to yeah. do the same thing. He's just tried three times. Absolutely yeah. not. Okay. Oh, That's oh, very loud. Um, what? Uh, everyone just says, we bang. need to move. This yeah. is going to attract I'm attention. Banging on the banging on the console, trying to stop it, panicking, just fuck, fuck, fuck. There is the, the door the alarm. and there's an emergency exit out. The alarm is not just coming from inside; it is coming from outside as well. <laughs> God. Oh wow. So yeah, well, you see one inside, and it cuts down. If I down. shoot the communists <laughs> with that stuff, so you yeah. start unloading your weapon to be to make silence, yeah? No, no. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you take alarm. There's other alarms going. You can spend yeah, time shooting every alarm, or you can run. What would oh, you no, like, like to do? Oh no, like the if I shot like the comms bit. Oh, absolutely. Of course, you shoot the comms. So <laughs> has no effect. That's not how security systems work. Right. This is uh, not I will... No, no, it's fine. I, I love it. I, I'm into it. Yeah. That's the kind of I... shit I would do. Ah! Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing as well. Just... <laughs> I'll, turn to, I'll turn to Chris. Uh, uh, I'll turn to Redfield. I go, right, where do we go? Where do we go? He looks. Everyone, come on, come on. And now everyone that has to run through the comms room with the decapitated corpses to take a stress dice. And. Oh. Um, Right. Now, there's an emergency exit at the back, he just kicks open. Go down here. If we circle around, we can get away. Right, uh, I'll grab him by the shoulder. Stay close, please stay close, and I'll head him <laughs> off. Do you, do you all start charging? I'm assuming you're all going to just start following them, yeah? No. Yeah. Yes, I am. You yeah. hear yeah. these screams, and you see these people in the distance, and they're heading towards the lights. They look very similar to the way Brad looked, it is, but they're just ripped up suits. Black veins, like fingers just down to the bones, just screaming, some running all fours. They are coming from the other direction. You've came out the back, but as you go out, you see two running towards you. I'm gonna shoot. That's fine. Chris opens fire as well. Turns out... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm still running, but I've got the incinerator ready in case they get within range of it. That's fine. So they're charging towards you. Chris, right, follow me, follow me. Barry and uh, uh, Jill are taking up the rear and they watch you and they look at them and they go the other direction. That's <laughs> clock, clock um... them down, I go, fucking bastards, run. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they um, As they're running, they, they, just, they just peel off, they go a different way. Why the alarms are for the way and not following you. Can I shoot them in the leg? Oh, right. damn. A lot of things are happening here right now. Just to clarify, what exactly is happening is there's a loud alarm. There are crazy zombie monsters coming from one direction. There's two coming from this direction. Two innocent civilians are trying to escape by going a different way. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. And Chris, the soldier, is trying to take you to the location you're going to. Logan, do you want, do you wish to shoot at the innocent civilians? Yeah, because it's nice. They, just, they, don't, they didn't want to come they're with you in the first place. On... I'm Okay. Basically, Logan. what Lee's saying is two rat, two people that happen to be with us are too scared to be with us, and they want to get out and live, are trying to run away. They know that Not you're going to the scared. place with the monsters. Yeah, they they want yeah. to right. run and be free and safe. Do you wish to? If you, I'm not stopping you doing it. I just want to make sure you understand the, the what's happening here. You weren't maybe on Facebook at the moment. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. are you, do you want to open fire on the civilians? If you do, that's cool. Give me a we give me a ranged weapon roll. Uh, ooh. Uh, Chris, as the most moral amongst the group, you see the scientist pull his weapon out and start to shoot at the Never mind. Before it no, gets no, a I'm, shot. I'm gonna cool. That's that actually really works. 
Right, uh, Logan, as you pull the weapon to punish the civilians, you feel Jock do that, and you go, oh, fuck, and you drop your weapon. As you drop oh, it, you go pick it, and you kick it, and it slides across and falls down a vent. Grim, <laughs> you try that shit again, and it'll be you that gets shot. I'm just shouting back, stop it's talking and run! <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm still now, moving. I will say point. the rest of the group. So yeah, Jock's done it. He's literally bang, fucking cut the shit, and you said he's run. Right, Logan, you are now standing unarmed in the dark. Not in the dark room. You can see your companions running. Innocent spoons going all the way. Monsters are moving towards that, but you can see you can hear a lot of noise, and you can see them come out the door where you've just ran from. And Professor, hurry you. yourself. <laughs> I, I, I yeah, kind of stop and I turn around to try and grab him because he's team. my he's yeah. my money. Okay. <laughs> You're my money. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you listen to your friend and you follow money. your That's companions. As you're doing that, you hear gunfire from the direction that Barry and Jill have went. Oh dang it! Uh, I thought it was Rebecca and Jill. That's it. No, it's no, it's uh, Barry and Jill. Re- Rebecca's Rebecca is, dead. is very dead. It was in oh yeah, Rebecca's yeah, yeah. dead. Re- so yeah, Jill and Barry, you hear gunfire come from the direction that they went, and you do. You faintly hear that of the flame weapons, and that is all you hear. So yeah, Chris takes you around. Come on, we keep moving, we keep moving, we can lose him. And he zigzags you through the camp. Manages to break open, goes, closes doors behind you, and he gets you to the front of the gatehouse building, where luckily you don't see anything coming towards you. There's a large double door, big enough for a large vehicle to go through easily. Well, listen, Lee, don't worry. I'm making sure you hear that part because that will be used later first on. Time. Yeah. That's fine. Well, no, this is to the gatehouse building. There's a uh, large door there and a large door at the front of the camp as well. Um, it is yes, close. We just need to get in a large building to leave. Well, something's going to do that is for Logan's yeah, benefit. Okay. <laughs> because, like, I don't know, he's okay. listening. I, don't, I was the one that said about the vehicle at the start. Yeah, you also then. Logan, if you got your notes right. And... <laughs> do you know what's funny? Uh, do I have a vehicle? Right then, that's it. No, no, not space, you've space. Yeah. What kind of vehicle, Logan? I don't know. I've got some notes. Cool. That's good. Look, that's okay, good. I'm that's taking, better than I'm taking the piss. We're fine. Right. So you saw uh, Chris brings you. Sorry, not Chris. Redfield brings you to the front, and you are hiding. He points to the doors like they're still closed, but we can we can open them. There's a pad beside it. I don't have the codes, but we could probably. It should just be a simple. I'll, I'll have a go. Right, so uh, are you going to go over yourself, or are you still going to go over as a group? How are you going to do this? Uh, I'll go yeah, um, yeah. If, he doesn't, if we don't all go, I'll go with him. That's right. I'll go with him because I have to protect him. He's my meal ticket. <laughs> Leaving yeah. the scientist and the uh, roughneck. <laughs> well, I'm down with the scientist, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He's I, crazy, yeah. Yeah, as I walk as over, I'm gonna, over, yeah, I'm going to try and calm myself down. Clearly fails. I'm now at four stress, so I'm going to go, fuck Absolutely. it, I'll just go over and... Try my, try my best. Absolutely fine. Uh, Rachel, as you go over. Bing, 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 bing. Wait, 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 wait. Colonists, they're moving. Bing, 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 bing. And they're not just like slightly moving. They are moving. Uh, guys, I a... think um, them crazy um, people are going to attack. There's also a red unknown source of movement in there. Right. As you get to the panel, it does say quite clearly, Unknown foreign contaminant in room. Hmm. Ensure all safety precautions are taken before entering. Can I room. shoot at the? Um, well, I should people. probably put my helmet on now. I'm going to assume that you've had it yeah. on. Yeah. 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 I don't thought I took mine off. Yeah. I did, but uh, I put it back on now. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in the corner with the Professor here, elbowing and go, "What the fuck were you doing?" Let's uh, let's try and hack this then. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I want to give Logan. Wait, no, we don't want it, We don't want to get it open until we've killed them. Things, correct? Well, you can't. You're pinging. They're on the other side of the door. Oh right. But before we go any further, uh, I boss, want Maddie this, and Logan to have a moment. This is so... going to be a yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. That's a good point. Right, we'll come back to you, Rachel. Maddie and Logan. Sorry, um, Professor Evil <laughs> and uh, Rat. Uh, <laughs> Professor Homicidal and uh, Rat. Um, Best yeah, war you, and yeah. you see them running over there. You, you see it, they stop, and that's confusing. Mary, I think you've got the motion tracker as well? Yes. You are getting the pings 
from inside the building and you see there's definitely four things that are we're colonists you assume <laughs> and the larger thing and you're also getting some distant extreme distant one it looks like the, between the fire and the alarms it's confused them you do also hear the occasional rattle of gunfire from but it's all at extreme range so have your moment <laughs> i'm just right up in his face like what the fuck are you doing but like trying trying to shout yeah, but no. quietly <laughs> <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we we had that we had a contract as like a pen gets so The contract is over if you are dead. Yeah. But yes. they're not really like, know anything, so if they run away from us, I mean who who's gonna know that they're dead? Is that to be killed no. actually? <laughs> Russ just having okay, a moment to herself like, oh you my god. Tell anyone. Murder's fine if no one finds out. <laughs> Murder's good if no one knows. Dead in the, the court. Russ genuinely <laughs> going, am I the smart one in this relationship? He's <laughs> <laughs> um, well educated, not emotionally intelligent. <laughs> if, you go, sorry, if you stop to try and kill people when other people are on people are running at you trying to kill you that means you're closer to the people trying to kill you which means you're closer to dying which I mean, means i'm further away from getting paid oh, yeah we, we don't want that to be honest if then, you're going like, to die if, if <laughs> you want to die i will help with that after i've been paid i thought i had an opportunity to kill him <laughs> you think Hillary died in, in an accident in engineering the other year? Oh, that's yeah. what I mean, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and then just, oh, I'm done with him, I'm like... <laughs> Shoves you back into the wall, fucking idiot. Right, so, you three are at the door. You are getting these pings. Chris is with you. Sorry, Redfield is with you. Back to the wall. How do you want to do this? <laughs> what, what, if we can open the door partially, or we can open it fully, what do you just want to do? Maybe partially. Right. It, okay. Is he not with us two as opposed to... No, no, he, he came with you. Know, he, he's, uh -huh. he's sticking by Corpo's side because at the moment he thinks he's got the best chance with him. Yeah. Um, and you know, did, not with the squishies, so... Do they have any guns left over there? Two, they have, what, the two that are standing over yeah. in the, the kind of corner. They have whatever weapons they have. Them. Logan's got some, I think he's got a melee weapon, and I think mary has got a couple of things. Yeah, I've got a melee weapon. Yeah, he's got a stun bit on. Um, I Although, have... I did actually say he got knocked out his hand, but I will have allowed him to pick that up have... as well. Uh, yeah. Mary's got an incinerator, and I'm not telling you what else she's got because I've mentioned the incinerator, but that's okay. up to her whether right. she says what I'll she's got. Not say anything about that. And the giant wrench you mentioned they as well. On... Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, but she, they're not massively far away from you. I mean, you can see them. They're like 20, 25 feet away. They're just standing like at a, like, just like hiding around the corner in case any monsters come at them. Yeah. Usually, uh, the ones that are standing in front of a large building. Um, I'm drawing complete daggers at Grim, like. <laughs> Naughty. I just wave at I'm no. the only war crimes doer. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, right, we need, we need to look at the fucking thing down there. Now what I will say is Rachel. Yes. At extreme distance. Bing. Uh, is the uh, the life sign that you're looking for. It's still reading as alive, although it's a very weird reading because usually if life signs are that low, they tend to flatline. But it looks like something is holding not just that one, but some other things. But yeah, what you're looking for is definitely in this building, but down. Okay. Uh, guys, they're they're still alive, thankfully, but they're downstairs. If that's the thing, I think we probably should hurry up. Tress will say that's wherever what they were bringing up came from down there. Yeah, let's let's go. You, while you're there, you hear some different types of explosions coming from the camp. Oh, why? Oh, Make a decision, I'm guys. Towards the camp. I'm opening, the, I'm opening the door. The fuck go in. Let's go in. <laughs> I'm opening the door. I'm not giving a fuck about the explosions. 
Make me fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's opening. It is. You, you make it go as fast as you want. You look in, and what you see is you see four black veins. These ones are much more bloated than the ones that you've seen before. There's Can very little trace of humanity. I'm going to start opening fire. Oh, I love it. That's absolutely cool. I actually have a picture for these guys. Hold on. Um, I'm getting the inside of it. Up. I love it. Uh, where is it? They have fun names, these things. And I'm going to find one. Oh, I've got so many of these things open. Uh, oh, there it is in the corner, of course. There you go. That is what these things look like. Super freak! Super freak! Super <laughs> freaky! They all cut around right again, like. I just shoot them. Sorry, I said that. You're so <laughs> witty. <laughs> <laughs> I was so drunk when I wrote that. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you shoot the bullets pass through them. They're like so soft and gooey. It just goes and it sprays black along the and... And they start coming towards you, but I mean, their movement is ridiculous. Like, they're sometimes falling. They're like, kind of roll for it. They just kind of like get back up and all for it. They just kind of coming towards you. I'm going to look at Jack and go, We may need that incinerator now. Uh, I wonder if Rachel's going to remember she's got a grenade launcher. And then I shoot oh, to. For the I shoot look, to you know, uh... I'm going to shoot that. Will I get it out? Also, shoot rat. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, uh, she's yeah. already put her hand up for yeah. having an incinerator before. <laughs> Many you... Has, you have charged over. I'm Logan, I'm assuming you came a rat as you've seen her move. You've all moved towards it. You've got your <laughs> yes, stunned hat on. <laughs> and you've got you've pulled out the incinerator. And then, then you hear um, uh, Rose go, Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know how I got Oh, I packed this as well. <laughs> I like, oh, yeah. Now, I will clarify you had nine shots. You shot one. You have eight shots left. Right, uh, okay. So you're going to I shoot again, yeah? Yes. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, go, it, lands in the, it lands in the middle of them now. I'll say you aim away from the elevator, oh, so you try and that land was it. nice. Oh, she got some ridiculously good shooting here. Four. Oh my, great googly <laughs> moogly. That was good. That was good. Yeah, I, I was going to like see if you only got one or two. I was going to say you only hit one or two of them. You got four, and I said there was four. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So kind of feel bad now. All of them. All, it's all, all fine. Right. So yeah, they all roll at the same time, and then you're actually like just perfect up in the middle, and just a like, kind of brief red flash, and then <laughs> and they just get thrown in different directions, and they just hit into the walls, and just like burst open, not even with the screen because there's nothing human left in these just things splat. just with a damp splat <laughs> and then just you just grey goo and whatever viscera and sinew and bone and whatever matter made these things move just splatters across the ground um, I'm going to oh, use a skill here guys, everyone okay? <laughs> sort of slightly lower than right like... my talents here uh, I will say that please. everyone that's seen that has taken a motherfucking stress dice because, oh my oh, god. I'm so stressed now. Is, at, at the so, same time, I'm though, sorry, Lee, guys. Yes, mate. I'm going to use one of my talents here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be like, guess I wouldn't be needing this right now, then. <laughs> so some banter. I will allow you all to negate that last stress point because he said a witty thing. Hey. <laughs> you, mean you, could, you mean you could do that from day one and you're still using it now? There's also not really been a point where he would be witty, considering he's I thought you were going to do it in the medical bay, but instead you just immediately started arguing. I was like, all right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's doing that instead. Um, but yeah, that was cool. Now, as you're doing that, he's like, as he says his witty thing, <laughs> directly in front of you is a much bigger Xeno, and it just knocks you all to the end, it spins its tail and knocks you all flying back on your asses. Everybody give me a stamina roll, or a, a stamina roll, I'll take a survival to just not be not, not senseless. Why stamina? Stamina. Oh, I see it. Yeah. What was it, stamina or survival, you said? I'll take a stamina oh, yeah. or a survival roll. Right. It doesn't really matter here. Goodness. I didn't get Oh, any. actually, 
Oh, wow, it really does matter. Jock, you got three successes and two panics. Yeah. So what I'm going to say to you is that... Uh, who else got a panic? Uh, Grim got a panic. I got a panic. John, you got a, you got a pass. Yeah, a panic. Got one, okay, but... anyone that got a panic, you drop your weapon, right? And you're on the ground, and you're just moving back. Like, in that moment, you do not know what to do. This thing is bigger than the other one that you've seen. The other one was big. This one is worse looking. And in that moment, you have lost all actions. You're just like, okay, whatever this thing does next, it's getting a shot. Does uh, anyone didn't panic? Can I ask uh, a question? I didn't panic. Yeah, that's cool. But I yes, didn't man. save any. I've got the talent Nerves of Steel. Mm-hmm. And it says you keep a cool head in all situations and thus get a minus two modification to all panic rolls. What's that mean? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that in this this moment you're like, fuck you, alien. <laughs> you don't panic. You're like, you've got your actions. You've uh, got this, Mary. Yeah, it means like... if you break, uh, it means if you break, you, you're on the panic uh, injury thing, you get minus two to that roll, basically. Because okay. it's a D66 thing, isn't it? Yeah, in this moment yeah. we'll just stay. Aye. Everyone's going to stay, right? Like, just so we can move it on. Um, so yeah, in that moment we're like, fuck you, Aileen. You've just too much hassle. You take a, I would say you take a slug or something, but you've got your helmet on, so you go to take a slug and it bumps off your helmet. Like, shit! <laughs> I go to go okay. for a pocket. Ah, yeah. like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Again, no, you drink for the straw it. that you fitted. That's <laughs> 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 yeah. time to fit when everyone was having arguments. I've got this. <laughs> I'll say that you roll back and you get to your feet and you've still got your weapon. Everyone that panicked, uh, so it'd be everyone apart from Rose and uh, Rat, in that moment, you just do not what to know what to do. What about Chris? Uh, Chris, <laughs> yeah, he's an NPC, mate. He has shat his pants. He okay. is in a lot of trouble. He's also looking very much at his, uh, his EVA suit. He does mm-hmm. not have... You guys have got military-grade expensive things. Oh, he's he got cobbled together ones, and he looks at the large rip that has been is in the shoulder of his, and mm-hmm. then looks into the room filled with the mute, the um, yeah, yeah. the guys like, but his weapon's gone and he is just white with fear, and you could just see utter terror. He stands and he runs. I'm gonna and shout at him. I'm gonna try and stop him. Shout well, at him. No, you're not because you're panicking. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm panicking. Yeah. All right, I, I got two successes roll. though. You did get two successes, yeah, but. This is I a cinematic weapon. moment. Right, okay, okay. Can I cinematic. use counsel? I get you. Not in this no, moment. No, 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 this moment. This is a cinematic moment. I get so you. So as you, you two get to your feet and just pull whatever weapons and just draw down that rent, uh, string of and you hear a noise from behind you. <laughs> and a large ball of energy shoots over your head and hits the alien directly in the face, exploding its head. And you just turn. Yep. And there's nothing there. Yep. And then some green lights flash about eight feet off the yep. ground, and something decloaks. Something humanoid with a large metal faceplate on, with a, pas- a weapon at his, in his shoulder. It pulls off and it reveals a face with dreadlocks, but like not like normal dreadlocks, like kind of like almost like carapace. And its mouth opens, claws are. <laughs> I think I shall ah, <laughs> but not like. <laughs> and everyone else takes a stress dice. What the fuck is that thing? The fuck is going I'm on? Just yeah. get that grenade launcher and shoot <laughs> no, them. Think, no, 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 you do not. I do. As oh, you, okay. No, no, you do not. Okay, okay. As you try to pull your weapon, a red dot. Hey! Three red dots. There goes, three red dots appear in your chest. Oh, and shit. slowly move up to your head, and you see it. The plasma generator starts to go glow again, and you still laugh. Um... <laughs> There's a lift right in there, right? And it points to you, and points inside the building. <laughs> Do you st- are you going to shoot, or are you going to? Are you taking chances? Here we go. Yeah, 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 I'm going to listen to that. Okay. I'm going to pick my way to up and run. You can all pick your weapon up and run in that moment. Yeah. That's what I do as well. <laughs> you just run on to the other and it starts to go down. The laugh comes again. <laughs> At least it took care of the scary thing. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm I think he's scarier. Yeah. I don't know. Now, as scary you descend thing. into the darkness, we will call it there for tonight. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode uh, with a special <laughs> guest appearance by the fucking Predator. Um, <laughs> hey, oh, 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 not me. Yeah, that's, that, that's another yeah. That's yeah, that's name that's that we don't like to talk about unless I'm in the court of law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the elevator slowly descends and peaks only knows the temple that for some reason the predator wanted you to go inside that's weird you do hear the plasma cannon go off a few more times don't know what it's doing sounds but, like it's an AP, oh it looks like AVP to be fair and that was a horrible film yeah yeah, yeah I, can best, I can take the best parts of it it's bad because it's a 12 but yeah so we'll call it there for tonight uh, please anyone who has watched this far please tune in tomorrow to find out the, con the thrilling conclusion of my mash of Alien, Aliens, and Alien vs. Predator. And, yes. um, also, tune in for the con thrilling conclusion to see if I turn up tomorrow. <laughs> or you might be <laughs> smack into Leon. Who knows? Um, Who knows? But, yeah, I do not yeah. uh, But me. as always, I'd like to thank all my players uh, for coming. Uh, we have got... Uh, Chris, what is your Twitch name? Uh, wrestling with the News. Uh, I appear on it on Sundays with uh, substitute Leon, and <laughs> there will also be a new version of it launching soon. <laughs> because oh, I have some of the people fancy. that are yeah. talking. Because, because I have been uh, contacted by various people asking if they want to talk about certain things. Oh, yes. We will talk about things we know nothing of, and hopefully we'll get people on who don't know what they're talking about. No, maybe. Not or wrestling. Not. Yeah, we're not talking about wrestling. I can leave that bit because I, I'd just go on a rant. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So Chris is uh, wrestling with the news. Uh, Logan, is there anything you want to promote? No. Uh, Log <laughs> Logan actually called the Talk. Predator twist, by the way, weeks ago by accident. <laughs> and I've been waiting I to remember that he said that. I was Predator wasn't in it. Yeah. <laughs> What's worse is me and Richard had talked about it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to put Predator in it. No one will expect that. And then Logan immediately yeah, the next you know day, he was like, oh, I'm going to I don't know why, it's fine. Yeah. The Alien TTRPG can actually get the rights for Predator, which is why it doesn't appear in the, the, uh, the role-playing game. But I can do what I like, because it's over. Yeah. Just give a uh, max that. <laughs> right. uh, Rochelle, is there anything you wish to promote? Uh, just thanks for everyone for watching. It's very kind of you for watching. Um, we love everyone. We do. I love you guys, too. Oh, we love and you. And thanks for letting us play this uh, amazing game. So oh. much fun so far. She also promotes violence. And situations that don't require violence. Just in life, yeah, just in life. This thing not, that was grim that was promoting violence. Not in real life. I do not promote violence in life no, no. unless it's necessary. Exactly. Uh, Mary, I mean, uh, you don't get to kill a mouse. We'll come back. That, to that. wasn't me. Uh, that was not Mary, puppy. <laughs> what would you like to promote? Uh, firstly, buy some illustrations from me, or and secondly, why not buy uh, uh, drinks? Cooler thing from Sanity Check Gaming, or hey, a vest that, if you like. That, that is a thing. We have yes. one of those. Do we have merch? Wait, we, do. we have merch. Yes. We, have merch. we do. Wait, why yes. the hell do I not know this? Why have I not? I don't know how you don't know this because I shared this in the chats quite a lot. To be fair, yeah, okay. There's a lot in the chats all the time. I would read my own messages. <laughs> I actually read all the messages as well. I'm glad so we, we will. I will. I will put it out on the the Insta. We'll put it out on our socials we as well. But I will, things I will as well. buy a couple of things. I will right. buy I will a sanity check vest. Uh, Rashardo, I will also. Sure Rashardo, uh, um, what are uh, you promoting? No I'm goddamn sure thing. Sure. I'm technically only here to fill in as a substitute for Leon, so I've got nothing to promote at this point other than. Uh, the Terminator game next week for the, the next round of uh, Halloween games which will be running got, Monday Tuesday. Yeah. I've got an idea of something to uh, look, promote. When's yeah. your next appearance live? My next appearance live? Oh, for your wrestling. For your wrestling? wrestling. Uh, it is the 16th of December up in New go. Mains. Oh, so. Christmas! <laughs> Pretty much. Sorry. Sorry. I thought it was um, I thought it was Douglas, but it's in New Mains. So. Ah, right, okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, so yeah, we're starting to check gaming. Thanks very much for coming. We've got some more Halloween themed stuff coming up next week. Monday, Tuesday, I think Rich is doing something. Yeah. Scott's doing something at the end of the week, uh, the end of the month. Sorry, Gordon may or may not do something depending if he's got it ready or not next week. Uh, not. 100%. I thought you said he got it already. I don't want to put any pressure on the guy, so I'm just giving it a, a, a maybe. It's he's a possibility. Going to yeah. Yeah. It's a strong possibility. However, he may not do that. But anyway, thank you very much for anyone that's watched this far. I hope it's been at least vaguely entertaining. Um, yes. And I will have words with Logan a bit, <laughs> trying harder. But we love him dearly because he's my son. So anyway, thanks very much. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.